Yes, everyone, you know what time it is. It's your boys Jack and Dave here providing you guys that watch along. And today, it's the Bubba Blowers going into their house. They unfortunately did teach us a lesson when it comes to finishing, when it comes to putting away teams, when it comes to, right, kind of getting your rewards for a good bit of play. I thought we absolutely dominated them, if I remember, in that first half last time out in our own stadium. But we're out, going over here now, Dave. We're going to try to get some revenge here. It is the Bubble Blowers. Um, I'm not sure if you brought your props with you, but uh, it is one where we are going to have to be uh, wary of the, you know, soapy eyes and um, uh, any sort of, you know, kind of dull football because they also love a bit of boring play. We can't stoop down to their level. we got to deliver some ange ball today and make their eyes soapy with the bubbles. No, look, it's a big game, Jack. Look, West Ham ain't easy, you know. They've got our number preseason, you know, early on in the season. You know, I think they're one of the most accomplished teams without possession in the league, actually, you know, with, with how high they are in the league and some of the results they tend to turn over. But look, it's all about us tonight, you know. We've got top four in our grasp. We've got a huge advantage with Aston Villa playing City tomorrow. If we can go level with them and have a game in hand, top four is in our control then. We didn't take that opportunity against Fulham. Tonight's the night. Tonight is the night. There's nowhere to hide anymore you know look even if we don't play well tonight we still have to put points on the board underneath the top four run under Conte the key to it was even when we didn't play well we didn't lose games we were still chipping away at the points on the board and it's very important tonight that we get points on the board I get it's not going to be easy but nothing comes easy in life especially at the top level at elite level if you want to play Champions League you have to go through these tough games where it may not suit you it's going to be long it's going to be dogged tonight the key is in possession do not switch off and be caught and allow West Ham to catch you on the counter. If we're alert and we're at it and we're ready to go, I see no reason why we shouldn't turn these over. But I am quietly confident heading into tonight's game. So let's see what happens. It's about to unfold in about an hour, half an hour's time. So, you know, let's see what happens, Jacko. But I'm excited for tonight. I really am pumped up and excited. As we know, it's the Irish Hotspur Derby. Let's fucking go. Oh, it's a big one, lads. Come on, everybody. Lads and ladies, everybody who loves this beautiful football club. Let's pick up a big win today. Let's go into uh, the top four race feeling confident because it's another opportunity here to kind of, uh, you know, put our chest out mm. in this sort of Champions League race. Already very proud of where we are, already very happy with how far we've come, but this would be a big <laughs> win as much as it is West Ham's Cup final. Hasn't been, you know, the most glorious of seasons for us because we haven't really had, you know, too many competitions mm. to really play in, haven't had that many games of really high profile that we've even really been able to play in this season. And, this is kind of one of them, you know. It's uh, it's one of those seasons where this is going to be a, a big game for Spurs. Let's hope we uh, uh, let's hope we can deliver. Um, also, as well, maybe this probably is the best time. If there is a big difference between uh, maybe Dave and I, sort of like volume wise, you know, let us know whether <laughs> yeah. uh, Big Dave is too loud or whether I'm too quiet or vice versa or anything like that. Let us know, everybody. Feel free to be honest. Feel free to uh, let us know for your own pleasure before, you know, we get into the screaming stages of the game and all that <laughs> nonsense. But big up, everybody. Hopefully you are all keeping well. Um, but Dave, the lineup before we greet the chat and all the lovely members and so many people joining us like Shawnee Maddox there, Ken Tab, so many great faces in there. I know you probably have some thoughts on it. We have uh, Pedro Porro, of course, uh, at, you know, Vicario, obviously a goal, but Pedro Porro at right back, Romero at center back, joining Van de Ven. Good to see Van de Ven back. Udoji at left back there. Basuma, Bentoncourt, Madison uh, as the midfield. I think Bentoncourt is a bit of a surprise. Johnson and then Sonny leading the line again as the striker with mm. Werner on the left wing, presumably. So what are your thoughts? Look, I'm okay with the back line. I think not controversial for me. I think it was obvious when uh, you know Van Ven was given extra time to recover for tonight. So I'm no no surprise he steps in. And like I said earlier on, you know, 18 games he's played for Tottenham. We've won 12 compared to the 11 he's missed. We've only won five. So you know he's absolutely crucial. So I'm not no surprise there. Going into the midfield, I am a bit surprised. I Look, I am hope I'm wrong on this, but I think it's a huge mistake not playing Papa Matasar in terms of the industrious nature of the guy, the guy that does all the dog work, the unsung sort of uh, work, you know, that may not get recognised by fans, but actually appreciated in the dressing room. The amount of ball that the guy turns over, the amount of ground he covers, I worry a little bit without him in there. But look, Bentecourt hasn't started a game in over a month, Jack, so it's a huge opportunity for him to come in and reclaim his place, you know. At the end of the day, we do want competitions for places, especially over these next nine games that we've got coming up to qualify for Champions League football so it's a big opportunity for him here he should have the bit between his teeth let's see what he does in terms of the forward line actually what do you think on uh, uh, Sar being dropped the Bentecourt coming back in before we move on to the forward line 
Huge surprise for me, really. I just think Sar is not going to ever lose out, usually, in a physical battle to most players. Like, I don't think mm-hmm. there's a, maybe much reasoning be, you know, behind maybe he, he would be somehow physically you know, worse than Bentoncourt for this game. The only reasoning I could have thought, Dave, you know, other than because I already kind of gave my reasons for why I think Sar should have started kind of in the pre-match buildup. I think he's the mm-hmm. most consistent midfielder this season. He embodies, you know, a great box-to-box midfielder. I think he's actually, his levels really haven't dropped at all for pretty much a majority of this season. He should probably continue to play. And I, I probably bet we don't even have the best of records, actually, without Sar, you know, uh, mm-hmm. starting. The only reason I could think he maybe went with Bentoncourt was... Maybe he saw something in training. You know, these guys are competing with each other for that position. True. Also, Bentancourt has that experience that Sar we know, doesn't. Bentancourt has mm-hmm. played in high-profile games. He can maybe see, you know, certain dangers or maybe make the right decision, the mature decision in possession or defensively mm-hmm. when need be. When Sar still, of course, you know, despite how brilliant he is, you know, he's only played so many games in comparison to a Bentancourt. Mm-hmm. And that sort of experience, that sort of poise Mm. might be good, you know, for a game like this one. He is going into, you know, an away atmosphere as well. Bentancourt has played, Mm. of course, in, you know, much bigger games, I think, in that regard, Mm. too. Maybe it's more of an experience thing. And we also know Bentancourt is a fine player. He's perhaps done Mm. something in training. I wonder, is it to do with maybe a bit of creativity as well, knowing that we are going to be on the ball a lot? You know, maybe in anticipation that maybe Bentecourt can maybe help Madison break down the opposition maybe more than what Sar can, or whether Sar's struggling from that back injury that he's been nursing since AFCON. So, look, it'll be interesting, but look, it's a huge opportunity for Bentecourt tonight. We know that there's an absolute class player in there, and he can dominate when he's at his best. He had a good cameo off the bench against Luton. Let's see how he gets on. But Jack, the forward line is something where maybe I'm a bit sort of question questionable over. I don't understand what the plan is. You know, you're looking at that forward line, you would think that West Ham are going to play a super high line and we'll be able to be, you know, that'll benefit the likes of Johnson and Werner and Son. For me, I think maybe he's missed a trick here, not putting Richarlison down the middle and moving Son out to the left, where he can actually get on the ball, drive at West Ham and really affect the game rather than play with his, with his back to goal, which he's going to end up doing for large parts tonight because West Ham sits so deep. So I'm a bit concerned by that and I think, you know, we could be another game looking at that where we might have to wait for the second half, a couple of changes off the bench to maybe change things and go and rip West Ham apart. But like that, I hope I'm proven wrong, Jack. Yeah, I mean, I hope we're proven wrong too. I know we kind of both advocate for Richarlison and these very low block defensive minded teams just seems to make most sense where they're not going to get much service usually the strikers they're going to have to rely usually on scraps and we aren't going to be able to create the perfect goal Mm. as much as we would like to and means then someone like Richarlison who knows how to operate with very little space knows how to be able to find you know kind of that you know space between the defenders and he's good in the air that's one of his best attributes compared to actually him scoring with his feet and I mm. think he's, uh, you know, looked good, at, you know, since coming back. He had that little cameo off the bench. I think he made a lot of sense, actually, to play in this game. He's our second-best mm. scorer so far this season. I feel like you would want to get your second-best scorer into the team. Also, Sonny, we know, at least in my opinion, is currently, and probably for the next few seasons, the best player just individually in this whole mm. Spurs side. And for me, Dave, I think it sometimes can be kind of simple, right? Wouldn't you want to just have one of the best players in your team on the ball as often as possible. And Mm. I think in a game like this, Sonny will be on the ball a lot if he were to play on the left wing. Mm. That's just me personally. And I think he does have a much better left-footed cross and just offers much more than Mm. uh, Verner does. No offense to Verner, though. Like, we had this conversation. Like, I don't think he's embarrassed Mm. himself. But Sonny's a far better player on the left wing. And I think Sonny's a far better player really on either wing maybe Mm. than any anybody in this team so for me i just think this is a game where it would just suit him best and he's our best Mm. player why not play to the suits and the attributes of your best player the only other thing I can think of behind it, Jack, is something that maybe you brought up in the pre-match show was the opposition lately, they do look to hit Tottenham nice and early. Like, you know, they do come out early, look to press high and catch Tottenham cold. I wonder, is that maybe an anticipation that West Ham might look to do that before sitting in? Um, a bit like, because we did score first against them earlier in the, in the reverse yeah. game, earlier on in the season from Romero. So maybe the thinking behind it is maybe catch them at the start of the game um, and take the game from there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, how Tottenham them start but look that's our thoughts on it guys i'm sure you've let us know your thoughts in the comment section so we'll start getting on to that now yeah
Thank you, everybody. Really do appreciate all of you tuning in. Once again, the army's here tonight, Jacko. They're out in force supporting us tonight. Let's go. Yeah, come on, everybody. We're going into battle against these bubble blowers. Put on your goggles, like I said, you know, in the preparation of this watch along. Get ready, everybody. Get the, what is it? Get the, probably the toothpicks out, you know, start poking them, you know, if you're in the stadium. Really do appreciate all of you lovely people tuning in. And we do appreciate mm. that you guys pick us as your watch along destination. Sorry that also my voice sounds a bit different. I am also slightly under the weather. I do think a West Ham uh, fan might have spiked my coffee on my way back home from from uh, Pennsylvania on the <laughs> New Jersey Transit. But we have the one and only Mark New first in, ha uh, first in the house saying 1-1 at halftime. I think we will concede first, but second half FC will smash them 4-1 in the final hour in honor of the 14K for Big Dave. We will win in the Big Ange time. We never stop. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, here's Army. Mark New, always a legend. Appreciate you, sir. We also have Tekken saying, just seen the team lineup. Spam will be rubbing their hands uh, with our lineup. Hope I'm wrong, though, mm -hmm. Dave. They've gone with Kudus on the left. You were right about that in the match mm -hmm. preview for all the members. And then they went with Bowen on the right. Um, thoughts on that? Personally, Pac I think Paketa what... Through I, the middle, Antonio up top, James Ward-Prowse, and Suchek as well. Personally, what I think is going to happen is I can see West Ham looking to use Bowen down the right-hand side or whoever... And maybe you might see War Prowse maybe edge out there. And I think what they're going to do is look, look to put crosses on top of Pedro Porro against Luton. They done that. Doughty, Doughty was the happy recipient at the far post a couple of times. I wouldn't be surprised to see like Sakudas come off the left. Antonio pull off, you know, towards Porro. And also maybe Sushek making runs eighth off Porro and look to send the big man on top of him and try and get a few headers on goals. I wouldn't be surprised if that's maybe the thinking behind it heading into this game. Good to know. Good to know. Um, and also appreciate you, Mark, saying, actually, this is nice change for Wednesday. They're actually saying, you know, maybe I can turn myself up a bit more to match your level. I don't think it's Jack's mic. I think it's just his voice in general. Like <laughs> you said, so, he was so, like... <laughs> so, so. uh, Big up, though. Uh, Mark, appreciate you, sir. We have AK Shags in the house uh, in the house saying, they can't handle our pace. Come on, lads. Uh, big up, AK Shags. The Belgian Hotspur as well. Another member saying, the big up, Dave and Jacko. I'm predicting 2-2, two, two, but I hope I'm wrong. Obviously, just worried mm. about set pieces mostly. I think that's a good place uh, to start your worries if you're going to be worrying about this game, the Belgian Hotspur. Believe me, mm -hmm. Dave and I firsthand have seen West Ham fans pretty much only celebrating uh, uh, set pieces, you know, not even their own goals. They seem to celebrate the set pieces more. Big up to the ball being counter as well. Good to see you, Felix. Big up, everyone. Can't believe Sar was the one who got dropped today. Neither can I, uh, ball being counter. But I tried to explain it, you know, seeing how, like, kind of Ange sort of saw it. And, you know, mm -hmm. perhaps he's gone with a bit more experience in this one. Big up to mm -hmm. Dell support as well. Hopefully you're keeping well Dell support. Really do appreciate your support as well. We also have... The one and only Mark in the house, like I said earlier, just a harmless potato. Really appreciate you, just a harmless potato as well as a member. The Spurs fan uh, as well from Aberdeen. Big up to you, the Spurs fan. We have, uh, just make sure, Ellie, just a uh, girl loves Spurs. Big up, Ellie. Stephen Wilson as well. Really do appreciate you. The one and only Georgie Hill. Big up, lads. Who's ready for the Irish Hotspur Derby? Let's pop these bubble yeah. blowers. Go on, Come on, you Spurs. Come Let's on, you Harris Army. Come on, you Flat Cap Army. Cantab is in here as well. Lisa Odley has been here. Big up to you, Lisa Odley. Hopefully you're keeping well. We have Iceman. Big up to Iceman. Good evening, all. Hope Ange Ball turns up tonight. As we all know, West Ham will have a bad feeling about tonight. I think it will be a high-scoring 3-2 or 1-0. Come on, you Spurs. Big up to you, Icy Man. We have Neil Hughes as well as a member. Uh, Shawnee Maddox, like I said earlier. Big up to Shawnee Maddox. The one and only King, Ho King Hoddle's in here. He says, I'll never take a draw against that lot, but with Villa going yeah. to City, I could live with it. It's not an easy venue. Well, he's saying he could live with it. He's saying he could live with it. Mm. Yeah, it's just not ideal. Mm. It's not ideal, you know. I I don't want to be relying on favors from other teams. You know, it's about about time we took charge of our own destiny going forward. I but I do understand it wouldn't be the end of the world. I think also though, had we maybe picked up a win at home against them last time, King Hoddle, there might be less of that sort of nervousness and also expectancy of us wanting to get kind of three points here. You know, maybe we would probably mm. settle for something like that a bit more. But it's fair. Sometimes it's been more mistakes that it kind of have gone against us if I can remember yeah. kind of uh, against this West Ham team when we go over to their place. Dan Coyes is in here. Big up to you, Dan Coyes. He's saying, win is a must, but had enough of the first half. Wasted with poor play. Then late goals uh, needed to win it. Need to improve that uh, on that and uh, and this and get wins convincingly now. End this number, uh, end this uh, no first half goal drought. 
um, a record. Finally, come on, New Spurs, come on, New Harris Army. Mm-hmm. Dave, do you agree with Dan that you'd like to see us come out the gates? And I do think that is the solution to uh, this game in general, like individually versus West Ham. I think that would be smarter to, instead of being so kind of cautious and yet careful like we have been in recent games, I think we should try to go out quickly against them. Um, look, I, I think we should look to hit them quick. You know, we hit them quick earlier on in the season with Romero. Remember, he came back from his suspension, gave us the big apology in his celebration. It was absolutely great to see. But I think where we went wrong is we got lured into a false sense of security. You know, West Ham almost bored us to sleep. Me and you were screaming about it, Jack, you know, that we could get punished here because we're not taking advantage of being dominant in possession, you know. And with, with it being... 1-0, you always leave yourself sort of open and exposed to something going wrong. So tonight, if we do get in the ascendancy, for me, the onus is on us to go and break West Ham down. I think West Ham would be happy to take a point tonight. It's up to us to go and win this game. And when we're in possession, you know, this is something that me and you have spoke about, Jack. Against the lower league teams, you might get away with it. But when you're playing against teams that are inside the top 10, you have to take advantage of the possession that you have. Because, you know, there will be times where you won't be on top of games. And we know we leak goals. So the uh, the solution today is go and hit them nice and fast. But then you'll also, once you get possession back, go and hit them again, nice and quickly again. Hit him twice, everybody. Hit him twice, says Dave. Bam, bam. Rocky Balboa, <laughs> let's go. Big up to MV Joker Davis. Appreciate your support as a member as well. Late Neville in the one and only Late Neville, and he's gone yeah, for two two in it. this game. Two two. Late. That's a little positive for you. You know what? Happy captain today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, work. You see, on the Dermot Sherberts, maybe. Yeah, uh, Al Ben. <laughs> good to see you, Al Ben. Hennessy, the one and only. Big up to you, Hennessy. Really appreciate you your support as well. We also have Darren Kilbane, Killian Kenny. Big up Killian Kenny. John cool. Fitzpatrick. Big up Jono. And uh, uh, Al Ben with a super chat saying Pentacore last game looked like he was getting back to his best self, I think mm-hmm. is what he's trying to say. Do you agree, Dave, that Bentoncourt mm-hmm. with that cameo deservedly could could you see where Pasta Coglu is coming from again with maybe this Bentoncourt inclusion? No, 100%. First of all, Al Ben, welcome back, my man. Hopefully you had a great Easter weekend and hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Look, when it comes to Bentecourt, I can understand. For me, he looked good when he came off the bench against Luton Jack. He looked saucy, nice, quick feet. I remember when me and you went to the West Ham game years ago, um... And we were sitting there. I remember Bentecourt done something right in front of us where two West Ham was on the edge of his own box. Two West Ham players closed him down. He just turned between the two of them and jogged out, made them look so mm. stupid. You know, for me, I've seen glimpses of that again against Luton when he came off the bench. He looked completely different to some of the other appearances that he made. But I also think, you know, when we rushed, when we brought Bentecourt back, I think we rushed him back because we were so in need of just a little bit of quality. At the time, it was a half-fit Bentecourt. is better than a skip and stuff like that. Whereas I think now he's had a bit of time to fully recover and he, he looked like he has fully recovered against Luton and I think it's the right idea to bring him into the. I would have brought him in personally for Basuma and kept Sar into the team but I think the thinking behind it is maybe he can offer a little bit more in breaking down West Ham maybe than what Sar does in terms of you know being able to pick a pass have a shot and stuff like that so look let's see what what, what Bentecourt we get today hopefully he lives up to the name Mercedes Benton class Mercedes Benton class absolutely love it Shawnee Maddox, member for seven months. Absolute legend, Shawnee is. And he's been a fan show member, and he's really added a lot to these fan shows, everybody. And he says, calling a Verner goal and a Matters Screamer, 4 nil Spurs, as usual. I would love a Matters Screamer, Dave, because you and I have, yeah, been on his case. Um, we're not always, uh, you know, maybe the kindest to Madison of recent. We have been calling out some of his performances. And uh, Verner goal, I think we always love Verner on the dance floor. Uh, but Matt or Screamer, I would love to see that because that's the type of goal that I feel like I've been looking for from him recently. You know, one where just that individual quality kind of shows mm-hmm. and the reason why we brought you in. And a Screamer mm-hmm. easily would do that for me. Look, these are the games why we brought them in, Jack. These games like this where teams sit low block, we brought them in to get on the ball, take the ball off others and start making things happen. I want to see him grab that today. If he wants to become a player to the next level and he wants to become a player that can't be overlooked for the England squad, that's the next level he needs to take. I know some people may say, look, guys, you're being harsh. But for me, I do think he does a lot of hiding. I think he turns up in moments and gets away with a lot. From when, 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 when you're an attacking player in a team where no one's doing anything from experience, you get frustrated and you go and take that ball. So you get turned and you go and make things happen because no one else is. Not just fall into the same trap. You know, he was brought for that reason. So I want to see him step up today. He's disappointed me on his return from injury. And he doesn't have that excuse anymore. He's got more than enough minutes in his legs to turn up and rock up today and, and do a lot more. Um, you know, yeah, you can argue 
you why the run is being made off them and stuff, but I don't think I don't believe they think the ball's gonna come, so they stop making them runs. That also has a part to do with it. Um but look, I'd love nothing better than for him to shut me up today. Go out there, score a thirty yard bang or top beans, you know, and just walk along, give me the shush, you know. I'd have no better I'd love to eat humble pie. You know, I like Madison, but I just get frustrated because I feel like if we want to take that next step, he has to be on it every single week and not just pick and choose when he's at it. When it comes to Werner, I'm trying to understand why I celebrate or love his goals. Is it because I'm not expecting it to happen yeah. or because I'm warming to the guy? I'm not quite sure, Jack. Definitely both. <laughs> Definitely both. Uh, that is well, that's well described. And uh, it sounds like Dave kind of likes to be shushed or wants to be shushed. Uh, by the I'm no problem with it. <laughs> no problem with it. Stevie D, congratulate and big up to you, Shawnee Maddox. I really yeah. appreciate it, my man. Thank you for the milestone. Stevie D says, congratulations, boys, on 14K. And he sent it in with the super chat as well. Really do appreciate you, Stevie Big D. Off, Stevie. And uh, Steve, let me know your comments on this because I saw, I think it was AK Shegg said something on on behalf of uh, the Irish Hotspur in the 14K. On the 14K, he says he's going to drink an Irish bre- uh, Irish breakfast. Uh, I think he means eat, you know, an Irish breakfast, Dave. Like, not a, you don't drink an Irish breakfast, do you? No, no, you uh, you eat an Irish breakfast. It's look, it's there's a couple of variations between the English breakfast and the Irish breakfast. There's sausages, rashers, hash browns, yeah. stuff like that. You know, you eat an Irish breakfast. Yeah. Now you can't have such thing as calling us an Irish coffee, Jack. Mm. That's of course you know a good strong coffee with a drop of whiskey in it and some whipped cream on uh, on top, which uh, you know and stuff like that, or a hot whiskey, you know, which is lemon and cloves in it and stuff. But uh, you know, I do know some people that like to have them for breakfast, so. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I kind of do prefer the American breakfast, I'll be honest, DVD, but I uh, really do appreciate uh, you uh, let me go on that tangent there and also do appreciate you, uh, you know, just going with us and, you know, continuing yeah. to ride with this channel, even though I know we <laughs> plenty of times have disagreements on uh, everything Tottenham Hotspur. And uh, we also do agree a lot, though. Let's not let's not be, know? let's not kid yeah. ourselves. But, you know, we have good crack about it. And I think we have good fun about it. And you're a really good sport as well. I think Steve D and uh, we mm. do really appreciate it. you do make this community, you know, very, you know, the fun comedy kind mm. of atmosphere that we like to have, you know, as well. Big up to mm. Steve. And we are three minutes out from kickoff, but quickly, I just want to say to you, Steve D, look, the reason why I respect you and I actually have a lot of appreciation for you is because even when we do disagree on things, you know, you don't strop off in a huff, I don't strop off in a huff, and we don't, you know, we listen to each other and we chat out, and I think, you know, more of that needs to happen, so I absolutely respect you on that, Steve D, and really appreciate the support, my man. And look, I get I'm not the easiest to disagree with, and sometimes I am stubborn, so uh, thank you for your patience. <laughs> Big up. And uh, we also have Adrian Chia saying, greetings from the Pasuma Third Gift <laughs> yeah. Society. Come on, you Spurs. I'm just hey, refreshing now the link, uh, Adrian Chia. So let me know, actually. Is it going to be the third kits tonight, or is it going to be the home kits? By the looks of the starting lineup picture, it is going to be the home kits uh, by the looks of things. We've gone mm. with the all-white, so the third kit will not uh, be in use from Basuma. I think he is going to have a good performance here, though. I remember last time he came to the stadium, he started really strong and then kind of lost, you know, kind of uh, his game. And maybe he has that mm-hmm. still in mind. And also Basuma is just a player, I think, in the long run, we will benefit from just continuing to try to ride with some confidence with him uh, compared to some of the other midfielders who we know are probably kind of likely to leave, you know, kind of uh, sometime soon. So big up to you, Adrian Chia, and really do appreciate your support alongside Stevie D. And last but not least, Drew Zilla, a member for seven months as a fan show member, says big up, lads. Good performance would be nice, but it's the business end of the season. Three points is all it's about. Mm. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Harris Army. Come on, you Flat Cap Army. Dave, at the end of the day, we want lovely performances. It's that stage of the season, though, where it's just kind of three points is really all that matters. Three points is all that matters, Jack. By hook or crook, even if you're not playing well, try and get over the line. Look, I'd love performances next uh, as much as the next man, but I've come to sort of realise when you've got a lot of the squad in their early 20s and stuff like that, you're going to get ups and downs throughout the season. You know, now it's just about not losing games, getting points on the board. If we could do it with a worse team underneath Antonio Conte, with the likes of Eric Dyer and stuff like that, surely we can get over the line here tonight and go on a little run to Cementos top four. But Drew Zilla, really appreciate the support. He also gifted out 10 memberships I think on the day of the looting game as well so top guy really do appreciate the level of support my man absolute legend 
everybody really do appreciate you all for tuning in picking us as you watch along destination we are about to get kicked off here looking Come at the on. cold eyes of brennan johnson as he stares into the opposition net and uh feel free to sink along with us you know of course you know as we like to you know po- i don't know if we point it out all the time but you know we're not able to stay right on the exact time with you you're welcome to pause it stay synced up with us and we do enjoy going through the roller coasters with you guys david moyes looks like he's not enjoying the rain neither is Ange Postacoglu, and i'm also having uh, some rain here so early west ham tears dave and i bet it's not making the bubbles you know uh, any fun they're probably getting popped immediately <laughs> yeah, probably getting popped immediately Lee jack that's why you know uh, there hasn't been as many bubbles floating around you know but look i'm going to try and make it home game tonight i have brought charpy with me for this watch along so hopefully <laughs> Charpy <laughs> is a lucky charm, and Shawnee Maddox should be impressed. You know, I'm trying to get into character for when I get his job. But look, big game tonight, guys. There's no more hiding places, no more excuses. We've got to back up the weekend against Newton with another victory here. Let's get behind the boys. Let's do these bubble blowers. Look, you can see it. The rain's already popping them. They're not flying there. They're not even flying two meters, which is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. It's already raining on their parade. But massive game today. Let's get behind the boys. It's going to be a long, difficult one, but let's stick with it. Come on, you Spurs. We're underway. The Irish Hotspur Derby. Let's go. I just totally thought of like Chirpy's probably oh, in, Chirpy's on. in for a tough one. He's either going to get, you know, like, you know, <laughs> squeezed for a goal or he's going to be thrown against the wall, you know, <laughs> at some stage. Oh, but oh, Madison oh. Uh, nearly trying to play in sunny like he made, Davey wanted uh, a, a quick start sp- uh, from Spurs. Hopefully we can try to grab that early one. Suchak gives it away and uh, a back pass from Pedro Porro all the way to K- uh, Vicario. Assume we're getting on the now. ball here. Let's see how he starts. He's gone back to Van That bubbles are really annoying. Yeah. That's just... They're so small as well. If you're going to celebrate bubbles, you think they get large ones. It's embarrassing, really. Madison Van drops deep to find Van de Ven. Out wide to Timo Speedo. Now. The Speedo. Burner to burner. <laughs> uh... Big Vic, the long lost Mario brother. Let's go. Romero. Cameraman likes Van de Ven anyway. <laughs> True Zilla says, I've drank my breakfast many a times. <laughs> it always ends badly. <laughs> Why is your choice to drink, Drew Zilla? Are you sort of like a fine wine guy or are you like a beer guy, a spirit guy? Let's know. Um, pick up Lazy801 as well. Good to see Nick Come in on, the house. Nick. Adrian Brown's in here. Good to see you, Adrian Brown, too. Really appreciate everybody. And the Big T is in here. Big up, Big T. Come on, guys. Madison, no, 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 tonight, Tyler. Are you okay? <laughs> Van to Van. All the way back to Vicario. Tottenham looking good in possession at this moment in time. Yep. Trying to draw West Ham out, not really getting drawn into it whatsoever at this moment in time. Bentoncourt, can tried, he play forward? Tried to get turned, just blocked up the pathway. Uh, yeah, West Ham are doing that right now. They're blocking up the middle, finding it hard to play through. But soon, a good ball out to Bentoncourt. That's all right. Good try from oh. Bentoncourt, but he gives it away. It's Jared Bowen running at Madison. Madison does well to make him turn back. Well done, Great tackle by Madison. Great tackle. Bentoncourt, Bentoncourt finds Sonny. Oh, oh, Sonny. Bad touch from Sonny there. Just hits off his left foot there. He actually could have let it run maybe if he tried. He's going to make me leave Trappy with one eye. I'm going to poke it out if he does that again. Antonio. Kurt Zuma. Oh, right. yeah, sorry. <laughs> Kurt Zuma. Sonny, pressure all the way on Fabianski. I'd be running by him meowing in his ear every time. Jared Bowen finds Sufal. It's a good Romero, ball to our well done. Get off him. Oh, the oh Madison. Madison. Oh, over the smile. Here we go. Burner. Oh, uh, come on. Burner's oh. not on the, he's not with it. Slow start from he's the Burner. He's reached up shoes for that dance floor. Come on, Burner. Great start from Matters, I must say, though. He's looked sharp. Yeah, he looks good. Maybe it's that new tattoo on the back of his neck there. <laughs> Ball in behind for Antonio. Romero, another tackle right on him. Easily mopped up. Drew's a Miller guy. Not a fan of Miller now. Not a fan of Miller. I don't like it. No, I don't like alcohol in general, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know. The, the, Pedro Porro gives a it away. A lot of people say Miller. Oh, oh it's top of the box. Oh, Bad giveaway from Pedro the there. Six yards. Got to wake up, Porro, says Tyler. Exactly right. Oh, bad giveaway from Poro here. He's just what is he uh, doing? Yeah, he's taking his time. Then he also lets in the cross here. Unlucky, he uh, takes a oh, deflection, no but still dangerous deflection across the box. We got away with that there. I don't think Bone was expecting it. 
Mickey Van Der Ven driving forward. There we go, kid. Good ball on to Vernon. Don't give it away this time. Sir! That's, That's assault. Jesus Christ. You could have harmed him there. Who's that? Kufal. We'll write that one down in the notebook. There's another one of them. He starts to get booked. Come on, Basuma. Matters. Nice. Bentico. Oh, Lovely beautiful. Turn. Matters Jesus and Christ, it's like Lovely. dancing on ice. The Doji running at them. Bentico. Good ball back to Bentico. To Werner. Timo. Look at Johnson on the far side. Timo. Square Gets it across. Gets it! Let's go! Oh, Brandon, Brandon, he's on fire, this kid. He's oh, on fire. Come on. I started to change my mind. Let's go, oh, Brennan. Come opener. on. Five minutes in. A great start from Spurs. Exactly the start we need uh the start we needed today. Punched him in the mouth nice and early. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant between ben, uh, from Bentecourt in the midfield, getting turned open to up, playing in uh, Doji, who ran at them, played it back to Bentecourt, he took control. This is what Madison should be doing to Werner. Werner runs at the fullback, gets on the outside, pulls it across. Johnson, perfectly timed run, and he's in there in the six-yard box, and he dispatches it. It's very similar to one at Luton, that the goal score that didn't happen, and it's a great finish. Tottenham 1-0 to the good jack. Come this on, is the start lads. we needed. Just the start we needed, everybody. I told you I had a fun feeling we might fall out tonight. we needed. That's brilliant from Timo Werner and it's those left footed pokes Dave I was talking oh, about it's yeah. not a cross yes. it's generous to yes. call it a cross it's generous to call it a cross but he's very effective at this sort of takes a pat down the byline takes it down the byline takes it past you and then he just pokes it with the left foot and it usually finds his man or it's not even that it finds you know the immediate player but it will find somebody in a dangerous area yeah. and then something usually happens from it it's it's a funny thing Werner does there and and like mm -hmm. always Dave with him it's not always the prettiest but it's he makes things happen it's effective look he got the job done there it was a good uh, it was a good cross to be fair you know low and hard across the six yard box it was oh, perfect well done Poro well done Poro get stuck in that's it kill him War Prowse onto Sushek Big switch. Out to Kufal. Smash him. Oh, that's it, Werner. Get your own back. Go on. Pull down his trousers. Well done. It's a corner. Go kick. Corner kick. Lionel. He's already been bribed. Come on. Eat that one, West Ham. Eat it. Come on. Woo! I love Tuesday nights when uh, you're winning. You see the mystified look of David Moyes as well. Not, not a more beautiful sight as well. His game plan's ruined. He has to sit there. He's going to have to ring Ferguson, come up with a new game plan, bring uh -oh. him out retirement. Uh-oh, it's their favorite. It's their favorite. It's going straight in on top of uh, Vicario, this one. Oh, Deal Big Vic, Vic, well done. Well done, Big Vic. Should be a free out. Hard to tell if he dealt with that well, though. Look, he came out. That's all we need. Yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, he, he needs to get a better punch on it. So yeah. snap that. Used it's palm. like he's playing volleyball. <laughs> ah, great start. Great there, start by the way. from Spurs. It's not even out of nothing as well. Definitely really sharp from a lot of players. Yeah, we were sharp in possession. We deserved that. It's not like it's a fluke or came out of the blue. You know, we mentioned a few minutes before that how good we looked in on the ball. I'd say it's the midfield as well. The midfield <laughs> looked a lot sharper than they have in other games. Like Basuma, mm. Bentoncourt, Madison, the collective. Yeah. Ball in. Deflected out from Udoji. Well done. Kudos. Well, see quick back on the ball now. Udoji all over him again, though. He's 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 already he's already making the pocket, you know, nice and uh, nice and deep for uh, players <laughs> oh, like Kudos. Oh, oh, he's saucing out there, Udoji. Go on, kid. Again, he's just getting stuck in all over the place. Be careful. Oh, well done. Be no, careful. that's a great challenge. It's a free out. Kudos. Well on referee. Offside. Great call. Lionel deserves a pair ice. Adrian Chia saying, finally, we scored first in the first half. Dave, yeah. it, and it's we had a question on it, of course, in the pre-match build-up, but it's been such a funny thing with Spurs this season, just trading off between either being kind of the, the first half team or being the second half team and the comeback mm. team. And it's nice to be the team that scores first, you know. And, of course, we have to go for the second. We have to go for the jugular. Yeah. Silence this crowd. Silence this stadium. But, you know, it's nice. It, it's a good feeling. It takes a bit of nerves even out of you and I, of course, because, mm. of course, we always go all over the place, mm. you know. <laughs> well, I think the home crowds definitely be silent. Some of them probably may be already looking to head home. That'd be brilliant. But um, 
Sonny here. Oh, one second. Sonny running at them. Good flick on the outside of the boot. Onto Werner's burner. Oh, uh, you had Madison there oh. floating. Madison. Oh, get your head up. Johnson's free as a bird. Low, but low. what I was going to say, Jack, is we were in this position in the first game of the season, you know, or when we played them earlier on in the season. Um, now it's about going and killing them off here, you know. Not not being complacent in possession. Go and get that second. Oh, here we go. Doji. Doji. What a win. He just won't shoot. Oh, wanted him to have a crack. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, I think he got bubbles in his eyes there. That maybe was the difference between getting on the inside and the outside of the post. Oh, that Sonny was going to have a crack. There's a for him. He shaped Woo. up a few against him, Jack. Woo. Oh, my oh. prisoner. My prisoner 101. Let's go. Big up, Adrian Chia, my man. Big up, Adrian Chia. Really appreciate the support. Oh, and, uh, big up. It's the start we needed and it's the start we asked for in the in the pre-match and and also even our early thoughts ahead of this you know kind of watch along as well big up man sufal uh, under pressure from timo out for a throw he is useless sufal <sighs> verner's gonna have so much joy and actually i did say in the pre-match build up you'd get joy down verner's side with him or down sufal's side with verner and adoji i'm telling you Ange must actually play us in the dressing room before the game he has to I'd like to think he does anyway. West Ham forcing them backwards. Mavropanos. Sounds like a tub of butter. Fabianski goes long. Out for a throw in. Big dog all over Bowen. That's what we like to see. Hmm. And loving the rain. Looking at taking it on full frontal. No <laughs> cap, no hood. Yeah. You know what, man? David Moyes gone for the yank cap. He's gone for the baseball cap here. He doesn't want to be there. You know, you look at Ange. Like, if I was looking over that sideline, I'd look at Moyes and say he doesn't want to be there. Maybe his team doesn't either. You look at Ange just taking the ring, glistening off his yeah. face. He wants to be there. Different wants, messages. He wants to take a shirt language. off like a Newcastle fan. <laughs> Romero. What a pass. Oh, really ball out. Be careful. Well, 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 well done. Oh, they're all great. on Come form on, right here. They're here all on form. Matters. Play Sonny. Great ball. Sonny. Come on, son. See matters making a run. Madison off you. Oh, oh, it's a poor ball, my son. Maybe Madison does well. Oh, I think he also felt inclined to play it, but I'm not even sure if he should have played it. It's one of those. Oh, well, no, power off. Oh, come on, Sonny, get back. Get stuck in. There you go, Paul. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, sure. I love him for about a guy that's like five foot five, lad. He, he gets stuck in. He's so aggressive. I must say, the midfield have been terrific in this first 10 minutes. Ma Basuma, Bentancourt, yeah. Madison, Dave. We've seen some beautiful, you know, uh, mm. one-touch passing from them. Some beautiful combination. Tyler says here, they're going to get scared on the wings and the middle will open up uh, for Madison and Sonny. I really do hope so, Tyler. Hopefully you're absolutely spot on there, my man. Rumbaum, I'd love to see one from him today. Bentancourt. He's been brilliant on the ball so far. It's just he's been he's been class. It's just, yeah, the combinations that all three have made have been terrific. Look at me, he's dictating. He's telling people where he wants them to move and everything. This is what I love. It's a great, great signs. Basuma. Go on. Here we go. On the triple. Go on. Good turn. Find Johnson. Play Johnson. Ball. Good ball. Here we go. Good ball down the line to Pedro. Pedro. Up and early ball. ball to, to Timo. No Super one on foul. his page there. Well done by <laughs> Doji. Doji recovers, finds... Bentacore. He's so nervous. Pepper him for the next 10 minutes. Vernon. Timo. Madison. Have Madison. a hit. Go on. Have one. Pulls it back. Box. Sonny. 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 Oh. oh. Give Sonny that chance again. Didn't I you feel say like... it's his 400 appearance tonight, Jack? Uh -huh. Yeah, so, yes. you know, it'd be nice for him to mark a goal with, uh, with, on the 400 appearance. He caught that one well. Fabianski just read him. He... I think it was more James <laughs> an early sighter for him, though. It looked like James Ward-Prowse sort of took away that curling angle you had to go mm -hmm. for something slightly different there yeah. but look first shot hitting the target you know where it's it's nice to get yeah, an early sight like that again, Dave, him. give him that chance again you know see what happens that, that's yeah what I'd say. that's what i'd say west ham now trying to work something here through the middle i think tottenham dropping off them a little maybe respecting west ham a little bit here paquetta into kudos back to paquetta on to ward prowse Nice. Who's that lumpy? We haven't had to mention any of their midfielders, which has been nice. Oh, well, on Basuma. Uh, he did. He pulled out. He pulled out. Back. Oh, thank you. Go down on it, Vicario. Romero. <laughs> Go down on it, Romero, time. With the back of the head slap to Jared Bowen. You love to see it. 
Mm. Lazy Eight you know saying that the Big Johnson like he thinks will score again. He thinks he'll pack a double here. Very well could, you know. There's a lot. Look, there's a lot of space down Werner's side. Kufal is absolutely rattled. Every time Werner goes at him, he can't deal with it. He went to clear the ball there and kicked it straight back to us. Mm. Uh, keep going down his side. If I was Johnson, anytime that ball's down the left, get yourself in. Yeah. You know, be in a position inside the six yard box for a tap in. But equally, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing us get him on the ball now and giving him an opportunity to run at his fullback too. But here we go. Destiny Adoji, get it out to Werner. Running at Kufal here. Come on, team out. Come on, skin him again. Come on, it go. goes on the outside. It's oh, a cross. Oh. It's bouncing all over the place. Comes off the back of Madison. Unlucky. Oh, he oh, is Bentecourt. absolutely skinning Kufal alive. Bentacor nearly picks apart Suchek. Oh. He is skinning him alive. Keep getting it out there. The press is magnificent, says King Hoddle. It, <laughs> it is. I mean, we are just choking them right now. We are making life miserable for them. It's like we rolled out Picasso today. Roll out his finest painting. Finest canvas, give him a blank canvas at the London Stadium, and this is what he's painting. Kufal, hopefully he gives a foul troll here, that'd be brilliant. Oh, he's so rattled, he is so rattled, gives away a possession yet again. He's looking like Spurs in that Conference League game against Vitessa, everybody. <laughs> he's just rattled <laughs> uh, by the press. <coughs> Basuma. That's much better. Taking the ball off Romero nice and early. Well done. Moving it quickly as well. Even yeah. Even we don't have a pass on. Benticore demanding it again. On to Basuma. Madison back to Basuma. Romero just, just tiring West Ham out here chasing shadows. Back to Vicario. Trying to looking draw to maybe get This is West the thing Ham with scoring here. early too, Dave. West Ham eventually are going to have to come out of their shell. Yeah. And they will, they can't oh, just be content oh, 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 sitting back. Romero. That's the benefit of grabbing that first goal. They can't be content. Romero completely back. beats the West Ham press oh, there. Oh, lovely pass from Timo as well. Werner does a back heel to Adoji. He's on his bike Sir! here. Sir! He's going. He's still on it. Do that in the box, you shitbag. What's That's a free kick. <sighs> He's giving it back to a free kick. Maybe, right. yeah, fair. I'd probably want a free Follow kick in back. a situation like this. You probably do. What a pass from Werner. What a pass from oh, Romero back as well. Was that back heel? I think it was more like a chop, kind of like right-footed. You know, it was delicious. Of... Another, he's 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 the master of the poke. <laughs> <laughs> just it was really yeah, just like sort of a just again, kind of just used the inside of his foot really and just poked it at a certain angle and took a nice, took scores, a lovely deflection. If he scores tonight, I might slap on a couple of frankfurters and some caramelized <laughs> onions. Uh, the frankfurters are nice, you know. Yeah, definitely nice, Dave. You know, nice brat first. Bit of mustard. Ooh, Do you like mustard talking. with Ooh. it? Only a small bit, Jack. For me, it's a bit tangy, but you know, I do I do believe a hot dog needs a little bit. Madison with oh! the effort. Just cleared. Basuma picks it up. Don't lose it here. Well done. Well done, Basuma. He learned a lesson from earlier on in the season. And Bentecourt gets back. Well done. Oh, well done. Udoji's Udoji. been everywhere. He's getting stuck in everywhere. Corner, play him again. Oh, I tried to find him with his left foot there. KPV oh. member for 23 months as a fan show member says, Big up, David and Jack. Hope you are good. Look, come on, you Spurs. Let's smash the hammers. Time yeah. to get revenge against them. They robbed us in December at our place. Exactly right, KPV. No, he's absolutely spot on, KPV. Look, you know, we've got a nice early goal. You know, we have the potential to go and do this 3-4 and four tonight. You know, really put some harm on them. And that would be absolutely brilliant, KPV. But we're looking good here tonight. You know, we're just being patient now. Now it's about creating that next chance and taking it. But we look good so far and long may it continue. Good to see you, KPV. By the way, how'd you get on your date? I know you had a date, so how'd you get on right. on that? Let us know. Let us know if you pulled off a Werner on the dance floor while you were uh, on, the, <laughs> yeah. on the date, man. Pick up yeah. KPV. can imagine him moonwalking, you know? I love it. <laughs> Rum bomb. Looking for maybe another... Yeah, yes, he has. Another oh. little dink into a doji. It's too easy for him. Way too easy. Madison. He's playing 3D chess. Doji, Doji uh, oh, tried to oh, find Bentancourt and it's read by Pakita, I believe. Look how quick the bodies are to get back, though. I like that. That's commitment. Sufa. Saying that, though. Sufa, he's so bad. That's a shit pass. Right Bowen. Behind. Bowen. Whips in a Gets right foot across. In. Van de Ven clears out for a corner. Well done, son. Did he have a little, little maybe, looked at a little a bit of a limp after he cleared that there? I couldn't tell. Have I, I said Pat Matasar, Charles Ingram? I don't think I've said Pat Matasar's name. 
No, you haven't, no. No, he's saying, I haven't heard you say it. He's saying, remind Jack that Sar isn't on the pitch. I mean, he's <laughs> we've been terrific without him, you know, uh, in this game, Charles. You know, I, I really thought we would be hurting, but Bentoncourt's been... Bro, oh, no! Oh, for fuck's sake. 1-1. One, one. Oh, set pieces against the run of play. It's just how it is with this team. And also, oh. set pieces yet again for Spurs. Out of nowhere, I swear. Out, out of nowhere, Absolutely completely out against nowhere. the run of play. Completely against the run of play. They don't even deserve it. Look at David. Come Lewis on, Barry. Well. Do us a solid here. Look at the bubbles going out. It's a joke. It's a delivery right on top of the six-yard box again, is it? Yeah, we knew this had happened, and it's a free header. It's actually poor. I'm sorry, but Vicario, it's in his six-yard box. Well. He needs to come out there. Sort of walks across Van de Ven, Basuma. Van de Ven mistimes the header and misjumps the header entirely, actually, as well. He just misses it. It's also the six yard box, though. Right you know, somebody, for, he needs to, he needs to, who's that standing on me? He needs to push Antonio off him and go he, and punch he, that. He, he, wa he walks right past Basuma and Madison without even getting touched, without even getting touched by Basuma or oh, Madison. Just be, so I, I, I do think, though, as sort of the center back, though, I mean, Van de Ven just airballs that header, really, just mm. completely misses it. And, you know, but he, does, he, does need, I, he does need to get blocked, though. I mean, he's the, he's the most obvious guy they're going to go to, Zuma. He does need to get touched. By Basuma, by Madison, you can't just walk across there mm. without getting without getting blocked off at least a little. No, look, a hundred percent. You know, there needs to be more contact there. Someone needs to be jumping with him, in fact. But you know what annoys me? It's like it's a six yard box. That's goalkeeper territory. You know, he's you just got to come and claim it again. He's hiding behind it. You know, it's. The, I actually said this to Kate in the pre match build up when we were talking TV that you know I wouldn't be surprised if West Ham stick someone like an Antonio to block Vicario coming out and put the ball in the six yard box. And it's exactly what they've done there. Vicario needs to be stronger. Move Antonio out the way and go and punch and help his back line. When a when a ball's coming in like that, you know you you're standing static. You've got players running at you. You need your goalkeeper to come out mm. and help you in that six yard box. Mm. Because that sort of ball favours the guy running in at it. Mm -hmm. But Van der Ven completely missed times. But I would say he's the only one that did jump, though. That's such a typical goal that we have been describing, though, for like the members and everything. Like This is the type of team they are, West Ham. They'll just do exactly yeah. that. They'll play terribly. You will be dominating them for the entirety of the game, and they'll just do exactly this. Yeah. And you have to stay switched on against them for that reason. You have to stay switched on. But just keep playing the way we are. I see. Yeah. I still see us winning this game if we keep playing the way we are here. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Look, you know, I'm not. It's just us. It's not just staying switched on there. It's just us being punished for the in that moment. Yeah. That's it. It's just us switching off, sort of. Yeah, again, you know. But from the from the overall player, there's actually not too much to sort of be annoyed about. We've played well. Yeah, it's more an individual. That individual moment. Yeah, definitely is. You know, yet again, frustrating and annoying. It's just if we keep if we don't let that hurt us, if we don't let that, you know, damage the confidence here at all, and we just keep playing the way we have been, for sure we should be grabbing another goal here though. Yeah. Come on. Look, I just don't I just don't get how we're setting off switching off from set pieces. Surely against West Ham, it's drilled into you all week. Do not switch off at set pieces. It's where they're dangerous. But yet we come out and we sit there and switch off from a set piece. I just do not understand it. It's mind boggling. Adrian Chia, anyway, we move. Adrian Chia with the super chat says, "Damn, the super chat curse hurt me yet again." <laughs> to me again. I does, it was KPV with the milestone. Maybe we should blame KPV on the kid. Yeah. KPV. Sorry, KPV. Uh, but uh, Adrian Chia, man, uh, I do appreciate that you are uh, a lover of the uh, superstitions. But Spurs got this, my man. They got this. Maybe this time, you know, you're going to reverse yeah. it. Hey, maybe you're going to reverse it now. Really appreciate it, my man. <laughs> that always yeah. cracks Big me up, Adrian. Look, hopefully, you know, you've, you, you've like Jack said, you've reversed it. Madison on the ball here. Benton core. we got to now just not be rattled by that, not be phased and get back to what we were doing good. Poro. Back to Benton core. He's been really good so far today. He's been harassed there. He does well to get away from it, though. Give it to Basuma. You've done all the hard work. Romero. Mero wanted to come forward with it. Good ball into Sonny. Sonny gives yeah, it away. Leaves it a little short. His touch and his pass has been a bit off compared to some others, yeah. I'd say. He's given away the ball a couple of times, Sonny. Yeah. He's probably, of all the forwards, weirdly enough, maybe the least sharp so far. He's just not as good when he's back to play. That's his biggest problem. 
he's doing everything under pressure. He's back to play. Mm. He's not. He's not that sort of player. I'd say he's not as consistent with it. With his back to play, I'd agree. Madison onto destiny. Come on, Adoji. Here he Sonny is, now dropping, dropping out to the left hand side. Just drops deep. He wants to get on the ball, get some confidence. You can tell. Signs Madison. of frustration, that in it. Team out. Mickey. Bending core. Into Sonny. Good ball Good into touch. Sonny. This time. That's better. Good touch this time. <laughs> Doji. Back to Sonny. Gets turned. Yes. Get out, White Johnson. Leave it, beat you. Oh, Madison. Uh, Pedro. Or I think it was Pedro. Oh, Pedro. Yeah, sorry. Should have let that beat him there. Assume I take oh. a good foul. That's frustrating. Ah, oh, Ben says a poor area for Vicario, but if Vicario can't do it, defenders need to do it for him. Look, it's a combination. It's a combination of bad defending. But what I will say is them in-swinging corners, they favour the guy running onto it. And that's where your goalkeeper, because he's got his hands available to him, you know, he's a huge asset. You know, he, he needs to scream for someone to come and take Antonio off him to free him up to come out for that. Ball in behind Pedro Poro's head. Well done, Pedro. Well done, well, Pedro. Well done. Johnson playing out. Bentecourt oh. gives it away. Tried to find Sonny, but just misplaces it. Madison trying to poke it away from Pakata. Mickey Van de Van, loose touch. Oh, good block. Get there, Vic. God, well done, Vic. He <laughs> had work on that, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he really had to stretch. Every <laughs> uh, Mickey Van de Van has an unlucky touch here, but definitely dangerous good after block that. Good block by the doji. Yeah, fair. Good block. Game Come slowed on, down a lot, says Sean Maddox. I'd agree with that. But yeah. that's just West Ham, you know, getting their way. That's what they want to be. Uh, Try Johnson, score top for Johnson. Behind. Oh, well done. Good strength. Who's following it up? Oh, no Spurs player. Nobody, nobody's up. seeing the second ball. <sighs> Kudos. Kudos. Is it in behind, behind for, for Bowen? Bowen. Well, well done, Adoji. Good strength. He's got his number. Good strength. Bowen's limping afterwards as well. He doesn't like that battle. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want it. No one wants it against Adoji. Here we go. Adoji running with the ball. Give it on to Bentecor. What's the cameraman doing? Who cares about substitute bench twerp? It's Calvin Phillips. <laughs> Holy shit. He was shit against Newcastle. Who cares? Here we go. Pursuma. Madison. Oh, oh tried to find Sonny. Son. Think Good had, idea. I think he had the other run as well. Here we go. Johnson in space. He's caught inside. He's not doing what Ange wants him to do. <laughs> Pursuma. Madison. Come on, guys. Don't start doing this. Start creating. You have to take advantage of the possession. Madison into Bentecourt. That's better. Oh, Bentecourt. lovely. Oh, oh, Poro. oh, oh it's oh, just a little bit in front of Madison. Poro. He's also probably been a bit like, maybe like Sonny. And, uh, he's been good defensively, but on the ball, he's been poor. I wouldn't even know if he's been my favorite defensively either. You know, he's caught, been caught out, I think, a few times, but... Mm. I'm probably being a bit harsh there, but yeah, he's also just not been as switched on. Um, Poro, just not as sharp. But that was lovely from Pentacore. If that was a mega, yeah. whatever that was, it was lovely. Oh, here good ball he here. Again. Go on, Sonny. Sonny, well, well done. done. Johnson, go yourself. Go oh, yourself. Johnson and Sonny are not on the same he wavelength. He felt inferior to Sonny there and played them on. He should have went himself. Not on the same wavelength. Romero, here though, we go, speeds though. it That's up. That's it. Good. Keep going. Take it, Poro. Take your space. Pentacore. Get out to Vernon, who's burning Kufa. Why have we stopped? Madison, well done. Get, Get it to forward. Johnson. Johnson, Get good it ball. Oh. Poro mops it up onto Romero. Romero, great passing again from oh, Romero. Here. Great line-breaking passing from Romero. Lovely touches and all, but we need to be trying a little bit more. Madison, get it out to Werner. Come on, get Werner back involved. He was burning Kufa. Benticor. Basuma. Onto Madison, get turned. Well done. Good ball. Poro. Pentecor whips it across. Oh. Whoa. Fabianski. He does it a bit orthodox, but he does the job. Antonio. Cool. What a... <laughs> well done, Adoji. He does well there. Tried to bump into Doji as well. He probably didn't. Tried out muscle him there, didn't he? No, yeah, it didn't work for him. He had to rely on his own ability, which he doesn't.
Burn the blocks, it's a West Ham troll. 80% possession, and we've got to be doing creating more with it. Well on Basuma, Adolji, Romero, to Van de Ven. Back to Van de Ven. Bentecourt, lovely turn. Now Basuma, what can he do? He gives it on to Bentecourt. It's a brilliant movement oh, here. Oh, lovely. In the sunny. Sunny. Madison, it's a shit ball oh. again by Sonny. It's behind Madison. I just don't understand what's wrong with him today. 400th appearance getting to his nerves. Um, so poor ball, yeah, again, in a promising position. Yeah, I'd say him and Poro are kind of the two players I sort of say are kind of... Yeah, they've let us down in them areas now. Romero trying to orchestrate things here. Looking for an option. Bentecourt takes it off him. Look at Basuma or Madison. Madison looks to get on the ball. It's a good ball Sonny, into Sonny Ref. That's a foul, Ref. Well done, Matters. He's done well, well done. defensively today, Matters. Brilliant. He's, yeah, done, he's, done, he's had a, more contributions defensively than he usually does. Well done, Matters. Yeah. He's worked hard. Bentecourt. Bentecourt. Come on, drive now. Benton class. Poro, you've got the delivery. Use it. Take your space. Come into Johnson. 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 Push it back. Oh, oh Come on, Gargle King. If he also maybe saw Sonny, it's Sonny as well. Johnson. Yeah, he had something to pull it back to. Werner, I don't it's know if football. he... Well, Ben, of course, being sensational. He today. really has. Uh, he just oh, didn't pick his head up. It's a great ball to release Johnson. Werner's got to gamble, though, as well. He doesn't gamble. Probably got to get on the end of that, says so Skunk Works, yeah. Or at least make an attempt, you know. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't the best of balls, but he's got to try and make an attempt to get on the end it. of it. Got to expect it. Didn't look like yeah. he expected it. Van well done, Van de Ven. Back to Vicario. Nice touch. Ah, oh, brilliant. So calm. Romero. Well done, Romero. Well done, Rambam. Oh, <laughs> beautiful Rambam. <Even> <coughs> Van Maybe. de Ven, that's it. Get it onto Ferner now. Let him run at Kufal here. Doji comes inside with it. Oh, and behind the Sonny, get oh, there. Oh, caught Zuma out. Nearly got there. It's coming. The next chance is coming. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. Idoji onto Basuma. Bentecourt's been brilliant at feeding that ball, you know, into the forward area. He's been brilliant at all day. Here he goes again. There you go. Dancing through. Oh, oh he gives that one away on this occasion. It's all right. West Ham just cleared the lines. It's Tottenham throwing on the halfway line. Come on, Spurs. We're starting to create our knocking on the door a little. There's going to be an opportunity here. Just keep knocking. Basuma. Bentecourt picks it up again. Basuma again. Now to Madison. Now get turned and progress it. Let's go. Love it. Good ball into a doji. Uh, gets just oh, gets his pocket peak. West Hammer on the break here. It's all right. We've got numbers back though. Well done, Johnson and Poro, but Kudus keeps possession. Someone smash him. Yeah, someone's got to get pressure on. You don't want to give him that much time. All the way back to... Come on, Zuma. Jorms Ward prowess all the way back to Zuma. Had to go back to the goalkeeper. Good pressure from Sonny. Fabianski, make him can go we long. make him go long? Putting He's not risk get on him. Ben he is so oh, shit. Back to Vicario. Well done, lads. Vicario once back again. Back very very composed. He's done well there the last couple of minutes with some passes back to him. He's made the right, right decisions. Vicario. On to Romero. Let's go. Come on. Keep knocking on the door, guys. Got to turn this possession into goals. Or into opportunities, at least. Suma. Romero. He's looking for one of those passes that just completely yeah, takes out yeah. the whole midfield. That's why also some people don't realize he takes that much time because he is capable more than I think even Van der yeah. is of picking out those passes that really can just yeah. completely bypass everybody. He's done it there a couple of times tonight. So he's had a field day, I think, so far <laughs> with some of them. He's, he's had uh, too much fun with it. Now they're definitely trying to cop onto it. Meh. Come on, Matters. He's had a great game as well. 
just need some other players, I think, to sort of deliver and sort of... I just think Sun's let us down up front a yeah. little, you know. There's a couple of times the ball's come into him and he's just been off it. See, uh, it's also this, though. We need to find Johnson. There we go, Madison. He's, he's there we go. in this whole game, Johnson. It's a good ball to Johnson. Johnson, good ball to Sonny again. He's just pushed off it. Oh, this is something we talked about in the pregame. He just needs... Just gets under his foot. I think we have also had that switch to Johnson. I think Skunk Works has mentioned it in that in sort of the a few times. Like we have that switch of play over to Johnson mm. and we haven't maybe done it as much as we could. No, I was you were spot on there, yeah, Skunk Works and Jacko. I mean, you were absolutely spot on. At least Madison had the you know decided he'd do it there. But I, I, this is the thing. Madison's capable of doing that five, six times a game. I want to see more of it. Benton Core. Basuma. Basuma. See Poro. Good ball. Good uh, ball. Basuma should have played him first. Go on, Adoji. Well done. Switched on. Well done. Uh, oh, he's giving it away. Benton Done all the work to get there and then it's four. Do not allow them in here. Romero, good defending. Well done. Oh, is he giving a free kick? Yeah, I think he has. He's calling them over as well. Come on, ref. I mean, Kufa completely like nearly put Werner in the stands earlier on in the game. He didn't even call him over. What's this? The circus. That's two West Ham players gone down with barely any contact. Barely even touched him as well, really. He's only just stepped across the ball. He's not really even, not even really hurt him there. It's another step Dangerous position, though. I don't like Ward Prowse on these or Paquetta. Yeah, that's fair. It's James Ward Prowse. I forgot. It's no longer. What's his favorite? You know, he has the ability just to, you know, play the right ball over the back line if he doesn't want to shoot. Oh, and he'll do his stupid Happy Gilmore celebration as well. <laughs> he will. It's sort of in that range. Does he go for a clipping ball in the back line or does he shoot? I wonder who West Ham have back because I would try to hit like a Werner on the break here. If we oh, come on. Player. What is this guy? He's, he's not practicing for the Oscars. You're about to kick a fucking football. Get on with <laughs> it. Jesus. <laughs> Even rugby conversions are kicked quicker than this. What well, Prowse goes for it. Vicario carries away. This is spectacular. <laughs> and Werner For just took it here. And he caught that well. You don't want to give him another opportunity. No, you don't take risks with him. He caught that bloody well. Basuma. Go back to Doji. Or Basuma, go back to Vicario. Out for a throw in. You win a throw in? Well done. Yeah, we do not want to give him another no, sign. Fair play, play for Vicario. Just, yeah, get it out. Get it parried. Not something you want to try to catch either. It's like he's lining up for volleyball at times. <laughs> he does the, the, the two hands. Keeper's got to be a little. They got to be a little unorthodox at times. <laughs> yeah. I suppose yesterday, you know, it's the first time this season he's probably put. Yeah, he's not really had too many free kicks. You know, really fired at him when you think about it. He hasn't had too much True. practice of that this season. Um, Van de Van. Well done. Pressure. Go on again. There you go. Good ball, Doji. Come on. Well held up. Go on, play Vernon. Ref, he's all over him. Paul Markey with the super chat. We've dropped the opening pace by 30% and let them back into the game. Our midfielders are walking. Uh, is walking slot matters and is too deep. I'm not sure what he means by the walking slot. Um I think I think he means in possession when we're coming out with it yeah. from the back line now. There's a lot of, you know, walking around in between yeah. the midfielders and the back line. Look, I, I definitely agree with him. I do think maybe we've dropped off a little, you know, maybe 20, 30%. You know, we're not at the same intensity we're at the start of the game. Um, look, it's a hard one because the goal came out of nothing. But this is something that every Spurs fan was nervous about and has warned them about. So how they switch off from defensive set pieces, I don't understand. So, you know, it's something that would have been drilled into them all week. But look, I think Bentecourt's been brilliant in terms of getting that ball and really trying to poke it forward. Madison has done it at times. I just think we've been let down by Son a lot of the times, to be brutally honest. Anytime it seems to go near him, it seems to sort of break down at this moment in time. Um, but I, I get what Paul Markey means. I mean, you know, for the amount of possession we have, when we have that spell of dominance, I would like to see us maybe create a little bit more, have a bit more urgency about them um, in that regard, Paul Markey. I agree with you for sure. Another corner kick here. What would you say to Paul Markey on that, Jacko? 
I think we have dropped the pace by 30% because West Ham have sadly gotten that kind of punch in the mouth type of goal where it's completely against the run of play, catches you by surprise. And yeah. I think from that, you know, obviously the opposition then, you know, West Ham are going to get a bit more confidence. They're going to start zipping the ball about a bit more. They're going to be more enthusiastic, less intimidated. And I think we yeah. haven't, I think we've sadly, uh, good clearance though from a doji. We've dealt with that. The last few set pieces we've dealt with well. It's just we yeah. got caught out, and it's really unfortunate because apart from that, we played very well for the most part. Yes, like yeah. yes, little bits of improvements on certain players here and there, but for the most part, just been by far the better team. And yeah, that's how it is with this team. They, like I said, they can play so boring and so terribly, Paul Markey, and they can still somehow just grab goals out of nowhere yeah. and end up getting a result. And we just can't let them, can't stink can't sink to their level and i think we have done that sadly yeah. maybe the last few minutes or so but so far i'd still be quite complimentary of spurs i do think mm. they have had a pretty good first half this is much better first half than what we've been used to not a corner kick here from west ham again here what got to grab oh, it right on the six yard box for cario does well that time big up paul really doji good. sprinting out with it go on keep going well done on to johnson go on go on speedy oh, go on go on johnson that. look at burner go look at burner oh Oh, he's you're lucky. He's done, he done all right there. He done, he done all right. If he could have made to go. Go on, Ferner. Ah, oh, pulled out. Get the pressure on. Come on, Bentecourt. Get there, Basuma. Well done, Basuma. Well done. No way, ref. Oh, my Lord. He needs glasses. Has he given that as a free? That's soft. That's soft. My biggest problem, Paul Markey, is I just think we need to do more with the possession we have, especially when you have that spell against top 10 teams. You know, you've got to sort of punish them for it, you know, because they do have the, the ability to be able to smack you in the mouth. You get away with it against, you know, teams further down, but you won't against top 10 teams. So I do agree, you know, we need to be maybe, you know, do a bit more in possession. I think Bendicor has done well on that, but I don't know. It's just, yeah. it's a hard one. Yeah. Piquetta. Switches it to uh, Kudus here on the left side. Spurs having to drop back. Pedro Porro is out wide with Emerson. Looking to try to cross it in here. Kudus out for another set piece, Fuck. out for another corner. They're picking up these corners. They're starting to I don't like the amount of them before half time either. It's the wrong time to concede. we got to yeah. stay switched on. Ward Prowse on this one. Looks Not good. Bowen. This one will be on the money. This could be their fifth corner, if I'm not mistaken. This one, Roll Prowse, would be right on the money. Bowen took the last couple. In a mad way to put him on it, right just before half time, you know? Mm. Fuck's sake. Just deal with this, Spurs. High and looping. I am wide. Oh, well done, Adoji. He does very well there. Madison really? appealing for a free kick. Sufal whips it in from the right. Pedro well clears. Done, well done, Poro. Well done, Bentancourt, well done. sir. That's great, surely. Great work That's from great Bentancourt. Pain. He's Bentancourt. been an absolute great beast reading. in this game. He's been terrific. Yeah. Great reading of the game there from Bentancourt. My favorite players in this half, I'd say, have been probably Bentancourt and Madison. Um mm -hmm. I never thought I'd say this more, Jack, but we need to get back to getting Werner back in the game again. He was killing Kufa. Yeah, he sort of disappeared. Matters has absolutely just taken a knock from Pakita. That's got to be a yellow card, though, ref. Has to be. How is that not a yellow? How is that not yellow? Are you just allowed just to do that? It's just That's like a 10, joke. It's like 15 seconds after he's passed it as well. That's a joke. He's absolutely body bagged him. How is that not a yellow? I mean, if we were watching Gladiators on a Saturday night, that'd be deemed acceptable. That's ridiculous. Oh, given away, I'm not sure how. But Basuma and Pentecourt clean up. Well done. Vicario. Van de Ven. Spurs having to start an attack from deep here with Basuma. Fine, lovely pass. Fine. Madison. Madison, good turn. Uh, not the best turn. But if we get away with it, Pedro, go. take your space. Here we go, Johnson. Johnson this is your plan. It's Find your time. Johnson. Come on, son. There you go. Taking oh, it oh. in. Oh. Okay. Why does he feel like forward. he needs to feed Sonny every single time? Go and shoot. That's what Darren Bale would have done. <laughs> yeah, that's actually fair play. He probably should have just taken a crack. Here we and go. Sonny. Johnson, good boy. Sonny's not even there. Sonny. He's just sitting, standing there. 
Yeah, just Sonny's he's pissed me off. Sonny's just he's pissed overall me off touch, today. overall touch passing hasn't been hasn't been the best tonight. But what I will say is, I did say this to Nick last week on the watch on against Luton. Even if he is poor, you still cannot take him off. Absolutely, he still has the ability to score from nothing. He just, we just need to get him in the game. We need to get him running at the team rather than standing there. He's wasted there today. Wasted. He's the best player in the team, and he just needs to get on the ball more so he can get get more confidence. And since he is playing in that striker role, it's a lot harder for him to get on the ball and to, you know, get some more confidence in the game. He has to rely on very little service, very individual moments, and it's it's tough work. It's why being a striker can be quite lonesome. It can be yeah. quite, uh, it can be quite hard to get into the game because you have so little. You know, have so little, you know, opportunities really to get on the ball. No, absolutely spot on. Romero. See, it's, a, it's, a, it's completely different asking a player to play Ooh. with his back to the ball. It's harder to do. Come on, Here we go. Come on, Werner. Burn yeah, him. Come on, man. Just go at him. Just go keep at going, him. yeah. Just keep going at him. Okay. He does well there. He, gets us up he the does pitch. well there. You know, he gets us up the pitch. It's well done. Basuma. I kept possession as well at two chasing him. He done brilliantly there. Bentoncourt, back to Basuma. One of his take on us, feed it in. Yeah, please, lad, someone find that. Look at Johnson, it's on, it's on. It's on Look at him. The whole time. It's on, it's whole game. <sighs> Into Sonny. Sonny. Does well there. Matters, Madison, well done by to Matters. Sonny. Get out to Johnson. He's trying to, but it got <sighs> deflected. God, that pass for Johnson, and they're just begging for us to play it. And He's begging for it all game. Basuma, well done. Good tackle. Great Let's recovery. go, Ben. Look at Madison. Look out. Yeah, Madison. Oporo, look how free he is. And Johnson. Get out there, Madison. There you go. That's better. There we go. There you Johnson, go. Johnson, not Pedro. Out for a Wins corner. corner. Well done, That's Lance. from the switch of play. Stop this five-yard bollocks. Expand playing. Get it out there. This is what we're talking about. We need that guy that's confident. Gets on the ball. One touch straight out. We want to get our fullbacks or our, our wingers on the ball. One-on-one -on -one running at the wing back. It's much better from Madison. Come on, Rambo. This is your time. This one's going to be begging to be put in. Poro, we know we're putting a good delivery. Or Van the Ven. It's actually shit delivery. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, Poro's also just, like I said, not been on it today, I think. He's even taken away a couple of times those switches of play. <laughs> oh, well Madison, done by Matters. Madison. Madison. Matters. Well done. Lovely feet. Can he get across? Lovely Corner kick. feet. Absolutely we'll do, we'll take gorgeous that feet there. Just slicing through them. Madison looks like he wants to take this one. He's been hitting some nice passes. He might deliver a peach here. Come on, Madison. Fuck off, Lionel. Get away. Look at him examining. He thinks he's an investigator making sure it's on the line. Just do your job and shut up. Whips it in. Madison. Better Rise delivery. To it. Oh, oh, find oh, the fan. Why did he turn his back? It's still in. Madison has it. Out for another corner. Go on, Vanderven. Yep, that that loop, another corner. Oh, I don't think Van der Ven was expecting that. That was right on his head. I think it was Bentecor as well. Did it go over his head? It was hard to tell. This would be the last opportunity in a half. Come on, Moise is ready to get down the tunnel, punish him. It's an outswinger. Basuma. Basuma. Then he just shoot Madison. Oh, oh, I thought he done it. I thought he found the net. Unlucky. And that's it. It's oh. half time. Oh, Started well. the half well, ended the half well, but it's that period in between where maybe yep. we let ourselves down a little. I think we just let ourselves down. It's hard down. to know what to make of it this half, guys. You're going to have to help us out in the comments. Get your thoughts in. If you really want to make it stand out, why not make it a super chat? But Jack, I mean, what's your thoughts? No, exactly right, Dave. Please, everybody, let us know your thoughts on this game. Feel free to support the channel with a super chat by doing so. And it's also a great way to just sort of get yourself involved in the conversation. I feel like I struggle to... Here's the thing. There are things I can point and critique, of course, with what we could do better. But I do think I have to first stand and say i think that was a much better first half than recent i think we did take the game yeah. to west ham i think we have for majority and i do honestly mean the majority dominated this game looked like the more likely team to score i don't think west ham have really threatened us all that much yes they've gotten a lot of set pieces and corners but even then like i think most of those set pieces actually dave that's what's funny i've actually dealt with them pretty well 
or at least not that, you know, sketchily. And the one time, you know, that we just sort of switched off, I think that would be the best way to describe it because Basuma and Madison, I mean, they just let Zuma just walk across them without even touching him and realizing that he's probably the most dangerous player in that penalty area. Some people are even saying mm-hmm. Vicario could have done a better job trying to claim it yep. since it's in his six-yard box. And then I'd say Van de Ven just completely mistimes the jump and completely mistimes the header really to try to clear it as well. And other than that, like, I think we dealt with the other set pieces quite well because, you know, they were really trying to, you could tell, intentionally gather a lot of them because that's how they see themselves scoring against Mm. us. And for the most part, Dave, I think I'm actually quite pleased with that first half, quite pleased with that performance. Mm. It's just a little deflating when you concede a goal like that really against the run of play because then it, it always inevitably will kind of, you know, give a bit of hope to the other team, even if they know they haven't been in it. It just gives mm. them that bit of hope. And then also for us, it will kind of take us a bit off of our groove. Mm. But even still, I don't think we have lost the complete run of the game either. Mm. No, look, I, I saw I think we've done well this half in terms of we got off to a great start. My biggest problem is, is we didn't utilize the start we got off to and, you know, sort of hammer it home. You know, what, what, what irks me is it's one thing having possession. I keep saying this. But you've got to you've got to use that possession. You've got to use it to your advantage, and that's where I become frustrated. We're not creating enough chances. I think Sun playing him through the middle has been a mistake today. He cannot deal with the physicality. Any time they get touched tight to him, the ball's bouncing off him and stuff like that. We need to get him moved out to one of the wing positions, or even drop him back into a midfield position and get him on the ball running at West Ham, where he can actually hurt them, where he can actually have an effect on the game. This game is crying out for Sun to step up and drag us through it. I think Bentecourt, great decision by Ange Postacoglu today. He's been absolutely superb. One thing I've been impressed with him, he's the guy that's picking up the ball and feeding it through the lines. I like that from Bentecourt. He's been brave on the ball. Madison, to a degree, he's been very good today. But, well, you know, we've seen two brilliant switches play out to Johnson. Straight away, we were in at West Ham, ball into the box. It's that easy. So why is he not doing that more when he's got that ability? He's doing it now. I want to see more of it in the second half. Mm. Um... My frustration is, is I blame Vicario for that goal. I actually look at it. Look at the set pieces he's come and dealt with. Okay, maybe not great, but he stopped them from getting on the end of it. The one time he doesn't come out because Antonio's blocking him, they score from it. But that's something he should have learnt from earlier on in the season when Everton done it to him. When people put, your uh, City done it, they put a guy on him as well. You know, straight away he should realise what's coming, call for a defender to come and take him away, and then come out. It's almost, for me, it felt like he was hiding behind Mikel Antonio there. All he's got to do is take two steps to the left and come out. Mm-hmm. It almost feels like he was he was happy to hide behind Antonio, and I don't like that. For me, he's got to be a man, come out every single time. Yes, you're going to get hurt, but you look, you're the goalkeeper. When they're putting on a six-yard box like that, you have the use of your arm, which gives you extra leverage. You have to come out and help your defenders in that aspect. But saying that, the defenders have to be a lot better. How many times have we been done from set pieces over the last four or five years? But look, one thing that gives me confidence, Jack, is we are much better in the second half of games. Much better. Later on in the game, West Ham will be tired after being run ragged in that 4-3. They'll be tired after chasing shadows a lot of this game. There will be opportunities for us later on. So let's go and kill it off. But one thing I want to see is when we have possession, let's have possession with a purpose rather than just having it. Completely agree with a lot of what you had to say there. And um, for the most part, I think a lot of players have actually been close to, you know, their very sharp, you know, sharpest selves. I think the midfield has been, you know, actually, for the most part, has been really ticking. I think Basuma really started really strong, started to fade a little bit in the sense that I think he started to play a bit more kind of safe passes, and mm. you know, maybe to just keep possession and not get as rattled. But I agree with you on the switches of play from Madison. But I'd also say that what he has done a better job, though, with is actually taking it past his man, driving us up the midfield, getting turned and, you know, actually going for more risky type, you know, uh, play and yeah. making combinations with players. That's what he's been doing more of. And I agree with you, he could make it a bit better with the switches of play. And Bentoncourt mm. has been terrific defensively. He's been, so he's been all over the pitch. Fair play yeah. to Madison, though. He's actually made a few tackles himself. Uh, to get mm. stuck in. Basuma I'm too. Going well. I think defensively and for the most part the midfield I think has been the strongest out of any of the, the out of any of the areas today. Mm. It's just that, you know, the surprising factor is actually more the consistent players like Sonny and Pedro Poro, I'd say, have 
kind of just yeah. faded a little bit. Pedro Poro just I've had I've seen him when he's had, you know, opportunity to take his space. He's just kind of passed it, you know, off to Johnson or just not mm. really, you know, taking it really aggressively, even defensively. I think he's been caught out a few times with the ball over the top and uh even also got away with a pretty bad giveaway at one stage, you know, where they nearly did score from of the few chances they did have. And then yeah. Sonny, you know, his hold up play, I think can be a tad inconsistent. In some games it can be good with his back to goal. And then other games when he gets nudged off the ball, when he gets a bit bullied, he can get rattled by it. And it's hard as well, because yeah. as a striker, you don't really get too many opportunities just to get the ball straight away again. You kind of have to wait another eight, ten minutes to then receive the ball and you get nervous, you get, you know, uh, in your own head. And I think that's the case with Sonny. Him and Poro are just not as sharp, perhaps a bit in their own heads right now. And you back them, you know, of all players to get back to their best selves in the second half. But we have suffered a little bit from that because mm -hmm. Sonny has had the ball in some good areas and he could have, you know, if he was his sharpest self or his best self, could have probably found an assist. Uh, I think not as much a goal, but I think he probably could have found an assist today. Mm. Look, it's the players that usually, like Paro Son, that usually provide that uh, je ne sais quoi, you know, that bit of extra special in that moment. You know, they sort of let us down today. But look, I'm going to just call it straight here. If Richardson put in the first half, Son didn't lost the ball the amount of times he did. People would be screaming for a change at halftime. Son's also getting frustrated playing down the middle. That's why you're seeing him drop out of there altogether, almost dropping in to put an extra body in midfield and looking to pick up the ball and try and get turned and go at them. He's not suited to the number nine. And for me, if we want to go and win the game, that's a change that has to be made sometime this half. Adrian, I'm not saying take Son off because you never take him off. Yeah. But put him out wide. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd consider that as well. Adrian Chia with a super chat saying, looks like we have to rely on being second half FC. Are you confident that second half FC will show up, Dave? Because what's been the tendency this season has been more one half FC and we save ourselves one of the one of the halves. Can we can we put in a good second half performance and go on and win this game? Because also, let's remember West Ham last time they caught us out again, right, where they played pretty bad in the second half. But we just didn't step on, you know, their throats and, and go for the game and really go for the win. And they punished us for it. Could they do that again here? Uh, or do you see Spurs coming out as second half FC? Well, look, you've hit the nail on the head, Jack. That has to be our game plan. We have to come out and go and want to win this game. The warning signs are there. It'll show us whether we've grown up as a team and whether we've learned lessons or not. Um, look, I think it's all set up there for Tottenham to go and win this in the second half. How many games has West Ham played in Europe this week or this season and stuff like that? You know, they've got a lot of minutes in their leg. You'd like to think they'll tire out towards the end of the game if the Newcastle game is ending to be indicated by where they, you know, they were leading 3-1 and let it slip 4-3 and that. So, you know, and, and with the melt of late goals, Tottenham score it is set up for us to go and nick this late on but like that it's not just going to be gifted to us you know like you said jack we've got to go out there and earn it we've got to keep knocking on the door there's times there we're knocking on the door building a bit of pressure and all of a sudden we resort back to little intricate five yard balls and stuff like that again when you're knocking on the door you've got to keep knocking it's the only way you're going to get in you know and so for me like you said jack you just got to come out be rootless and go go for this game don't sit back and don't allow West Ham any opportunity. We got we have great possession, but somehow West Ham still come out with more shots with a lot less possession. Mm -hmm. So it just shows goes to show we want to go and win this game. We've got to have the bit between our teeth and go and create and stop. Definitely. Oh. Um for some reason I kinda of lost audio for you on a second there, Dave. Um can you still hear me? Oh, you're all right. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, I can no, still no. hear you. Okay, great. Okay, you're back down for me. Great. Um, and just quickly, uh, and maybe actually not quickly, I'll go to Oldies here because he's mentioning the guy I just wanted to, to talk about here. Big up, Oldies. Really appreciate your support. And he says, Brennan playing with a fire. Sonny a bit weak in the first half. Will Sar come on in the second? Let's go. Spurs. Big up, Oldies. Great talking points there. Brennan, for me, Oldies, I think he's actually had a, an okay first half. Of course, grabbed the goal. Made a great run. You know, caught everybody in that West Ham team sort of... Uh, flat-footed you know they were all kind of uh, ball watching and he just stepped in at the right time also kept himself on side and mm -hmm. also great play by Verner of course and I just feel like Brennan Johnson though like he's kind of sadly not been as involved because Dave mentioned it like he's just standing there and you can see him he's throwing his arms up in the air yeah. just asking you know to be played the ball and lots of times we have ignored him or just looked for a safer pass or maybe wanted somebody else to you know, maybe make that pass where we try to make mm -hmm. it in two passes or three passes instead of one pass. 
And uh, we've suffered from that. I wish actually he just got more service. That's what I would say about Brennan Johnson Mm -hmm. because I wouldn't even know if he could – can't say he's had too many bad moments really, but I wish he was more involved considering the goal that he – that he scored mm-hmm. and also the crosses that he has made and he's putting himself in good areas and I also like that he continues to throw his arms up asking for the mm-hmm. ball he's not just hiding out there on that wing um that's what I would say with his first half well, but what would you would I you think- agree with me there Dave like I kind of wish he got more service no, 100%. Look, any time he's got the ball, right, he's run out his fullback and he's put the ball in the box. You know, he's be, he's been brilliant every time he's received it. It's just getting out to him a lot more quicker. You know, when Madison does the switch of play at both times, Johnson's got on his man, you know, and, and run at him, you know, and caused a bit of havoc. Um, the whole idea of having Werner Johnson in the team is that we do do them switches of play to get them the ball one-on-one with their fullback, which is where the most devastating. But for large periods of that game, you know, we weren't getting out to Johnson in that time and space. You know, for some periods in that game, we're almost walking out to him. As a winger, what do you want the guy to do? You know, everyone expects him to be the guy to create the magic. We can't dance through four or five people. That's why the ball has to get out to him quickly. You know, that's why sometimes you have to bypass one or two guys and just move it out there first time. I think he's been good. You know, that goal, you know, he's worked on it in the training ground. He's coming off the right hand side, got himself in the middle of the six yard box, you know, and he put it away against Luton. He didn't, you know, it was just a fractionally not, not happened for him. But that is something that Johnson is doing very well. He's learning in that regard. But like you, Jack, we need to get the ball out to him a lot quicker and actually use his devastating pace. Um, mm-hmm. To the rest of the super chat, you know, when it comes to maybe Sam coming on that's an option in that midfield 100 percent. you know for me if i was looking at it right now it would be for basuma rather than a pentacor or a madison right now but not only that you've got kulazeski who i'm sure will come on and want to prove a point with charleston you know we want to yeah. come on and shut making antonio up so we do have game changers on the bench that might actually work in our favor jack there are different players on the bench than what we're used to we're not used to seeing kulazeski on mm-hmm. the bench so that can be an interesting kind of impact mm-hmm. sub like you say there, too, we could look at bringing in, you know, someone like a Pat Matasar, not mm-hmm. always on the bench as well, you know, and used as an impact sub. That could be interesting. And so I look forward to that. Like, in with Sar, it's hard to know where he would fit in in this midfield because I agree with mm-hmm. you, like, Basuma may be not as good as the rest, um, but, you know, who's going to then drop and play down, you know, in the number six position? Because yeah. I think Bentancourt has been terrific playing in that number eight, you know, so far. He's actually done both sides of the ball really well where he's Mm -hmm. been a good option you know as a a, a, you know creating chances and putting himself in the right areas to receive the ball but he's also been Mm -hmm. terrific defensively he's getting all over the pitch so I wouldn't really want to mess with anything Bentancourt has been doing and then same thing with Madison I'm not sure if I'd mess in with anything he's been doing I think they've been kind of our two best players in that first half Mm -hmm. so while I love Pop Matasar wonder how he would fit into this game maybe when they do start to tire maybe when they do need that fresh bit of energy and that injection of uh yeah just legs and you know kind of a you know a a bundle of energy like sar Mm. is you know maybe at that stage probably 60th 70th minute if need be uh probably Mm. more leaning towards the 70th minute for me oldies and uh Mm. let's hope that sunny as well you know can uh you know maybe just find it within himself to uh you know, get some more confidence with his back to goal. Or if he can't, you know, find the confidence with his back to goal for this game, probably going to have to move him out onto that wing and so he can get more on the ball, get some more confidence that way. Big up to you, Oldies, and really Big appreciate up. Great support. super chat. Really appreciate the support, my man. I think we agree Great with a lot of chat. what you had to say. Martin Knightsbridge says, we got no one up top when the crosses come in. I mean, uh, Martin, you know, Dave and I have kind of been ranting a lot about why these sort of games, when you are reliant on having to just kind of cross the ball in in hopes that you know somebody can rise up and meet it hopes that a defender makes a mistake and you know somebody's there in the right area somebody that's comfortable you know standing between multiple defenders where there's really no space whatsoever these are the games right and I think where Charleston suits that kind of play style and suits that kind of role it's not a it's not a glamorous thing to ask of a player but there are guys that you know, just specialize and are better in that type of situation. And then you can benefit from having somebody like Sonny, who we know is one of the best players in this team on the ball in general. He can get more service. He can try to make things happen. And he can either grab a goal for himself or he could maybe try to whip in a good cross or create a good moment for somebody like for Charleston mm. in the middle. So I think David just and I quickly. have been saying this a lot. Big mm. up, Martin. 
No, big up, man. Just quickly, I've seen Madison speaking to Johnson there, talking about, you know, doing that motion, maybe getting balls whipped out to him a lot more quicker and stuff. So hopefully we see that in this half between the two of them having that conversation. But look, Martin, I'm sick of talking about when it comes to strikers at this club. I was an idiot in the summer, but I've been proven right. I'm an idiot when any time I suggest put some back out on the left to get Richarlison down the middle, you know. But yet again, so far today, I've been proven right. I'm sick of it when it comes to strikers at this football club. I get so many people want a son to be the face of Tottenham and they feel like he has to be down the middle every single game to be that guy but he doesn't simple reality is Son's a world class player and we need him you know in different positions according to the game yeah. where we can get him on the ball and go and affect it so look, maybe it's a change you might see Salah's huh? the, Sal the face of Liverpool yeah. he plays on the wing right uh, that's a fair yeah. point very good point exactly exactly but look you know he, saying that uh, you know, as bad as he's been, I don't blame him. I don't think it, the game suits him down the middle. And I still wouldn't take him off. At the end of the day, if anyone's going to get you a winner this season, it's been him. It's just not... I mean, I think he has inconsistent games. I think certain games he can have a better game with his back to goal. Other games he, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And that's just because it's not his best strength. It's not his yeah. area of expertise or his area of where he thrives the most. And that's the thing. When we play him through the middle like this, we're not always playing to his strengths, I think, in Dave and I's uh, no. opinion. Um, but I think Sonny will get back into this. It's not like he's a guy that hasn't, you know, struggled in a situation like this. And, you know, he does it for Korea as well. And he, he tries to make the most of it and we'll see for mm. it. But definitely Richarlison would be a great sub to bring in sometime soon. He'd be good for the crosses that Martin Knightsbridge is talking about that's mm -hmm. coming across the area. You know, with a guy that's played striker nearly his whole career, you know, with Sonny, he's having to learn that movement, right? It's not, it's not natural to him. You know, with Richarlison, it's natural. He'll automatically be thinking as a striker and be putting himself in them positions because you're taught as a striker, you'll pick up 10 goals a season doing that. Mm. With Sonny, you know, it's not natural. So when you look at a lot of the crosses coming in, Sonny's dropping back, waiting for that ball to be sort of pulled back to him when really he should be making an option to dart towards a near post or get across the six-yard box. Yeah. Do they really blow bubbles in the second half as well? I mean, it seems. I mean, they blow bubbles every opportunity to get. I mean, they turn on the TV and they, you know, in the stands and they fucking get blow bubbles. It's well a done. joke. Well done from Romero. Great recovery. Out for a throw in. Don't get caught out though. Thank you, Babasuma. Well, well done. Babasuma. Great touch as well. Do you know what he's done? He's done all the simple things well today, Babasuma. He hasn't done anything that's. Oh, back giveaway like from Bentecourt. Oh. Top of the box. Oh, Save from Picario. Oh, uh, it's not a great moment for Bentecourt. He's had a great game. That's a bad giveaway. It's a bad start to the half from him. That's not what you want. Back to post. Well done, Udoji. <coughs> Come on, Bentecourt. you got to stay switched on there. It's just straight into Ward Prowse's feet. It's sloppy. I'd agree with you with you know, Basuma. That that's arrogant. Of... Sorry, yeah, sorry. Say what you're about to say. Oh, I was just going to say quickly, that's arrogance when it comes to Bentecourt. He's having that good of a game. He maybe took his eye off the ball a yeah. little there. I do agree with Sorry, you that Basuma, Basuma's done the simple things well mm. and be nice if he could try to take more risks. And he did earlier. He just gave it away mm. with that pass that he tried to make in the final third. Oh, oh it's another free header. Oh, no. Oh, the carry save from save. I was Mikel Antonio not scored with that follow-up. But what a save from Vicario on the line. They're calling for an offside here nonetheless. I think it's from Mikel Antonio on the follow-up anyway. But what a save from Vicario. The question is, did that go over the line? I don't think he did. It's a great delivery he again. Got, he would have gotten a buzz. When he wins the header, Antonio's offside. Yeah, yeah what a not. save on the line. Would have gotten a buzz from his yeah. from his wrist. Mikel Antonio would have been offside even if he did put it in. Well done, Vicario. Set Two great again. saves there at the start of half. Set piece, Set piece again. again. Jeez, that's the thing. That's just that's like why a... we need to go score two and three here, Jack. We can't be comfortable, you know. Yeah, they, they will cause us problems. We're just weak from set pieces. I think we're always going to be one of them teams fragile from set pieces. It hasn't changed in four years. Van de Van. Romero, a bit of urgency. I love that. Madison and Son, both Son oh, in Madison's face there. He needs to leave that to Madison and get on the run. Fucking hell. Come on. Jesus Christ. He's getting so frustrated up there. He's almost affecting other people now. But he's still working hard. Still closing down. Something will fall for him if he keeps that up. Win that Romero. Oh no, he gets caught out here. It's Ward Prowse, not the guy we want on the ball. Gives it out to Jarrah Bone. Running out of Doji. He's got Kufal on the overlap. Chooses not to use him. Cuts inside. Puts it back to Paqueta. He gets spin. Up. Gets a shot. Oh, that would have been an absolute great goal. What a spin and shot by Paqueta. 
That looked dangerous. Ooh, Tottenham Chances need to wake up here. Now. They're banging on the door. We need to wake up. Again, Bentecourt oh, gets turned. Lord. Good turn by Paqueta, but, he, you know, Bentecourt, he needs to do better there. That's, that's if you're going to commit like that, you got to smash him. <laughs> Come on, Tottenham. Brennan Johnson. Bentecourt. Good ball to Madison. Great Madison, ball. great ball over the top for Poro. Sonny, get on the afterburners. Pedro. That's poor by Poro. It's poor by Poro. God, man. Him and Sonny He's not today. the postman today. Him and Sonny today. Mikel Antonio. Pedro. Does Kudos come off? Um, I don't see him. Where is he? That's a fair point. Must not make a substitution, anyone. Has he moved over to the other side? He's moved through the middle? I didn't see him there. That's a good point. Is he off injured? Someone in the chat. Let us know. Have we missed the substitution? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's there, is he? Must have been playing left back for them. <laughs> Another set piece. This is good territory for Ward Prowse. He got a good ball in here. Got to deal with this. Way too far out for Vicario to come out for this. Defense has to deal with this. Just follow your runners. It's a deep delivery. It's towards the back post. It's over hit. Thank God for that. Romero, great switch of play to Destiny Adoji. He's done that two or three times tonight. Destiny Adoji, get it out. Come on, get it to Werner. Just There we go. That's a bare ball. That's a great ball. Who's that? Basuma. Madison. Into Sunny. Sunny. Basuma. Back to Basuma. Bentecourt. Onto Madison. Bentecor out wide. Good ball to Johnson. Out to Johnson. Johnson. Well Johnson. Side. Maybe find somebody. In the Madison, Madison. Oh, has a shot. Madison, oh. Pedro. Pablo. Sonny. Johnson. Oh, oh, maybe he should have brought that down. Go on, get the pressure on him. Well done, Sonny. Romero all over Kudus. Or, sorry, ah, uh, Oliver Antonio. He's got to be stronger there, Madison. He's given us a free kick. Thank you, ref. Well done from Bentecor. Antonio gone into the book. We won't do that again. Hopefully he does actually get to send it off. Oh, that's nasty. People saying this is a terrible start to the half, saying we're very frustrating. Look, 100%, I get it. It's not a good start to the second half whatsoever. We just need to create chances. We're not creating enough. When West Ham go, it's bam. They know what they're doing. Balls in the box. People are running. With us, it's just so slow. Bentecourt feeling that one. Romero, good ball into Madison. Bentecourt. Oh. Out wide to Johnson. Johnson. Oh. Rips it around the ball. It's, on it. it's, on the post. it's come off the post, has it? Oh, flashed across. The... Werner picks it up. Oh my god. Madison. Flashed across That's the goal. Sonny, Sonny and Timo Werner could have easily scored there. Great ball from Johnson. Romero, good Bentecourt. ball. Bentecourt. Great pass into Poro. Poro, Poro. 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 great feet. Oh. Sonny, Nearly great feet. Bentecourt. Oh, blocked. This is better from Tottenham. At least we're trying. We're knocking on the door. Keep going Basuma, now. Great well done, Basuma. That's brilliant oh, play. Great play. That's brilliant from Basuma. Maybe find looks pass. hungry. There you go. Well done. No, Great man. ball. Oh, Johnson. It again. Come on, come to it. Well done. Well done, Basuma. It's a yellow card. You just left the studs in on Basuma there. Oh, great play from... I want to see that again. I thought the sun got on that and it come off the post. I couldn't even tell. It looked like he just sort of flashed it across the goal and it, it was hard to tell if Sonny made contact with it with his foot or his body or... And then it just all of a sudden was at the back post, just flashed across the entire yeah. yard box. Werner, once again, I feel like needs to gamble. He's no, not gambling, Werner, or he's just not reacting quick enough. Yeah. I understand it's not clean. You know, these are kind of, you know, deflecting and everything like that. It's hard, but he's kind of just standing there a bit sort of yeah. wide eyed. No, you're right. He's got to gamble. You know, he's got to, like, even if it doesn't come, just be decisive with one movement, you know? Oh, well done. Who's that? 
Bentagor again. Well done, well, son. Well, Werner. Trying to play. Come on. Get your Madison. head up, Madison. Sonny, find space in the central area there we go. here. Go on, Johnson, Johnson. Run at him. Oh, just Leaves couldn't get out. Him. Two on one now. Go back. Oh, well, lovely don't bring back heel. Poros. Madison. In Come a on, Poros. Lovely. Sonny. Oh. oh. Basuma. Yeah. Oh. Basuma. Oh. This is better, though. At least we're Terrific shooting. Terrific play from Spurs, and especially Madison and Bentoncourt have just been incredible. Oh, oh, close as a, a lot wider than what I first looked from yeah, the other angle. He doesn't have that goal threat, usually, Basuma. Uh, Son had another opportunity he there. He, his touch, once again, kind of let him down there, Sonny. It's, it's not been mm. his best game, you know, when it comes to his first touch. Oh, 55 minutes gone, but we're knocking on the door. We're starting to shoot more. Keep shooting, the goal will come. Just get the ball back off West Ham now and go straight back at them. Free throw into Suchet. Should never happen. Right into the middle of the park. Gets it out to Emerson. On to Kudus. That's it, Bente Cork. Got after him. Come on, get the press on here. It's ideal now. Sonny forces Fabianski go long. Over Doji's head. He lets it go. Bowen controls it. He's running here at Doji. He's done what he does well there. Don't get don't foul him. Come on, now he skipped past Werner. Well done. Well done, Doji. Top of the box. Pick up. Yes, oh, come on, Tottenham. is starting to get end to end here now. Starting to open up. Who's gonna take uh, control of this game? Doji's got to do better there. He's let, let, let that goes over his head. Bowen, he's a strong guy, isn't he? Not many people hold off a Doji like that. And he skips by Werner. That's poor. Bentoncourt. Great ball. Madison on to Porro. Get Johnson on the overlap. Goes back to Madison. Bentoncourt, he's like the conductor out here today. <laughs> Everything's going through him. Johnson onto onto Porro. It's good movement here. Tottenham starting to sit the ball around. Basuma picks it up. Bentecourt wants it again. Come on, feed it through somewhere. Running well that West Ham. That's a great ball out to Pedro Porro. Oh, it's oh, a poor ball across. again. It's no one. West Ham just cutting it out. Romero. Romero picks it back up. Get it back well to Bentecourt. He's good. He's been sensational. Again, moving it Pedro. forward with Porro. Moving Madison. it quickly. Madison. Basuma, take your space. Back to Madison. Get it wide out. That'll do. This is better football from Tottenham. Keep going, moving lads. Come on. And also, as well, just kind of almost making West Ham dizzy as well with some of these passes. Yeah. They really are struggling to react to it. It's just that final ball. It's just that final ball. We need one to go right for us. Bentecourt. There you go. Bentecourt, great pal. Great ball. Madison, who's there? Oh, oh, couldn't find Sonny. But so it, it always has to be a pullback to Son. Why is he not making that run across into the six-yard mm -hmm. box? It's where Madison was going. It's the only, yeah, that's it's the only the option was. he had. That is where the space was. Oh, come on. Basuma. Basuma, that's a great switch of play. Right onto Johnson's toes. Oh, lucky kid. Look like Starting to get him into the game a lot more. Though. Nice early balls out to him. This is more like it. Tanya, we need to get Richarlison and Kulu in there. Maybe, maybe not both, but Richarlison at least. Take him off for Werner. For him. Take off Werner, get Son out to the left and get yeah. Richie in through the middle. Because at least when them balls come across from Johnson, Son will make that gamble, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> but then you also have Richie in there as well. I think Werner has also just been... He's died out again, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's been, been quiet. That Johnson's definitely created a lot more chances, so you definitely don't take him off. And I don't understand how he's gone quiet. He had Kufal absolutely rattled and on the back burner. Picario clears it. Good ball. Come on, Werner. Timo, Great not take. a bad touch. Oh, oh good ball to Take Sonny. your time there. One. Sonny. Oh. I think Timo should have taken his time there. He yeah. Need to... He done the thing I didn't expect him to do, which is pluck it out the air. <laughs> Van de Ven. Well done. Well done. That's They're bloody brilliant. Absolutely effect. outclassing Antonio here. Ma great, great turn from Matters. Sonny, get on your bike, man. Here we go. Here we go. Madison, Madison. skip to Werner. 
Well done. In a sunny. Sunny. Great touch. Pete Johnson. Back to Sunny. Madison, Madison Habit. Sir. That's a free. That's, a free. that's right in front of you. Oh, my you. Lord, Rap. That's right in front of your eyes. Oh, no. Over the Mick ball. Antonio Over the top. Antonio. Well done, Vano. Oh, no. 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 Well Vicario, saved well by done. Vicario. Oh, How has Antonio Lord, hit that straight out man. Vicario? How's that not a foul? I don't understand. He's literally come through the whole of them. That's a joke. He's gone through the back of him as well. It's not even a shoulder to shoulder. He's just completely gone through <sighs> the back of him. Bentoncourt, come on, Tottenham, go straight back at them. Jeez, we got away with that with Big Antonio there as oh, well. Oh, that's poor. Sloppy. Great. Oh, great tackle. tackle. Great tackle. We got away with that from Mick Antonio. He should have scored. That could have been two one down. That's a warning. That is a warning. Oh my lord, he's literally just I mean, he's through literally the, got the, the arm in the literally back not sweat. even made oh, any yeah. contact with the ball as well. Not even won the ball whatsoever. He's literally coming with the arm. He's showing it to the referee. And his leg, Dave. Stuff. His leg just completely goes through like Madison's backside. Like he just completely kicks him to the ground. It's disgusting. It's disgusting <laughs> from the referee. What? How is Antonio not scored there? Oh my lord. I just don't even get that. The ref is two feet in front of that. And <laughs> he just you feel like if he's way, if he's far away, maybe, but so hard. <laughs> and it's not like there's any bodies in front of him. He's literally standing on top of it. Who's going to blink first? Who's going to make the first substitution to try and turn this game? Andrew David Moyes. It's Jared Bowen. That's brilliant, Adoji. Well done. Don't you dare, referee. Do not. You can give one to Madison. Tell him to get up. Book him. Oh, here we go. He's gone off to make sure he's all right. Do you want me to come around for dinner on Saturday? Fuck off, ref. Well done, Adoji. Got away with that one there. <laughs> People are saying get Werner off. I think, I think that's the next substitution that has to be made. I'm not even sure I'd make a change in the midfield, to be honest with you. Basuma's being effective with what he's done. You know, Madison and Bendicourt have been allowed to probe away. The sub I would yeah. make is get Werner off. And I, you know, either put Kulizewski out there or get Richardson on up front and move Son out there. Ref, I mean, it's not a wrestling game. You need to get a grip of this. You need to get a grip of it. You're allowing this to happen, Ref. Look at Bowen and his silly little foot side fringe. Put him around. Come on. Basuma. Bis. Good ben ball. Tecor. Romero. Oh, well done, Bentecor. Oh. Johnson. What are you doing, Johnson? Leave it for Bentecor. Doesn't look like there's a substitution coming anytime soon anyway. Sean Maddox says, I'd make a substitution now. Why are we waiting to change the game? Mm, look. Let's wait and see what happens, but oh, I would be looking at getting burned off. Dispossessed. Oh, no. Kudos. Don't allow him to dance around like that. Come on, guys. It's not the circus he's in. Don't allow him to do that. Good pressure by Madison. If I see this guy being able to dance around us again, I'm going to scream. Look at him. He's just pulling out all the tricks and everything. Stop him. Mavropanos. Jersey panic there. Good pressure though from Spurs, not making it easy on them. No, they keep having to go backwards. West Ham throwing. I think it's the right time to make a sub now that the game's dying a little bit. Fresh impetus. Leighton Evans saying, I'll take a 2 1. Look, so would I. It was never going to come here and be an easy game. This is ideal here, though. Johnson with Sonny on the overlap. Run at them, kid. Keep going. He keeps Burn! going. That's a good tackle. Oh. It's a good tackle. It's a bloody well timed tackle. Do you think he had a pass on, or was that the right decision? No, like I think he made the right decision. Bentecourt. Good ball. Sonny. Sonny now. This is where we need him. Come on. Sonny. Sonny. He's just blocked, and it's gone out for a corner. No, I think he But that's where he's going to get his chances it. out wide. I keep saying it. Put him out wide. I think he skied it, actually. Yeah, he did not sky that, did he? Oh, come on. Sonny. Yeah, he's just not been on his best today, has he? And maybe oh, it no. took a deflection. Maybe it did. A little tiny one, maybe. The guy in the hot air balloon coming over would have caught that. Fuck's sake. Oh, just poked it away. 
great play from Johnson once again. He's probably been the best of the forwards. <laughs> he's been very bright today, actually. I'm going to give him that. I actually have no complaints about it. Here we go. Samoy. Who, Come will, on, will it, who will it be for, though, is the question. That's going to be interesting. Who's he think is tiring in that midfield? <sighs> I don't, I'm not quite so sure. I wonder what he'd be thinking brilliant. about maybe. I'm going to clap off I wonder if he's thinking about off. maybe moving Madison out left. That, that surprises me, actually. Again, I, I would think about. Well, the first one I'd be hauling off is Werner. He's completely died out of the game. He hasn't touched the ball in about 50 minutes. Well, no, that's harsh. About 30 minutes. Why? Wow, I, I just, he's just disappeared. Not sure why. Mavropan, I swear, a long ball. Get out. Come on, get out. He is so quick. Kudos. Eyes off. Thank God. Interesting to see who he's coming on for. The only other one I can think of is Basuma. I wouldn't be taking off Madison or Bentecourt. Maybe he drops Bentecourt back into where um, mm. Basuma is, but Basuma's played well today. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, he's, especially defensively, I think Basuma has been great. Well, he hasn't been caught in possession either. He's, played, uh, he's done he's, he's done all the simple things well. It's just like some of the second balls, you know, that could be dangerous where if West Ham were to get on it or sometimes when they yeah. have played it into the striker and to some of their midfielders, Basuma's just always been there, it feels like. I can, rare, I can never say, like... He's been caught out, you know, sort of mm. out of position or anything like that. But, oh, no. of course, commentator's <laughs> curse. He takes a loose <laughs> touch. Stop um, talking about him. <laughs> Vicario uh, has to go long. Can we win? Yes, come on, Matters. Matters. Right, Werner. Just run at him. He is useless. Oh, oh no. Take him off. Yeah, take Get him, him off, off now. Take him off. That is shocking. That is schoolboy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> West Ham on the ball. Bentecor is on a yeah. yellow, says Skunkworks. Maybe that's the reason. Oh, I still wouldn't be taking him off. He's been superb in terms of him in possession. You know, I think if he comes off, you know, I'll be worried about us feeding the ball through as quick. Pedro, oh, well, well done. Paro, here we go. Come on, postman. Come on, postman. Son, get turned. Give it inside. Come on, one of you take responsibility. Let's go. There's five players Let's up the pitch. Why are you fucking moving like it, Coach? No. To go there. We had a chance to it's go like there. There's like six players upfield there from West Ham. Oh, my Lord. Come on. Sometimes our brain smarts just isn't intelligent. Like, they had six players up struggling to get back. Madison. Great Done. ball. Johnson, Johnson. Great touch as come well. on, Paul. Pedro, the ball. cross the box. Oh, Johnson, Johnson takes oh. <laughs> cheeky man. He teed that up well. That was great control. He had a Romero. brilliant first touch earlier. Uh, Coming to fan today, Poro, Romius. Wow, well Madison, Mid Sunny. It's been Bedicor, Slippery, Basuma, into Sun, Sunny. See Sunny maybe if you can, Romero. Here you are, out wide to Pedro. Need somebody in the no box. No one in though. the box. No son, no Werner for fuck's sake. I can't because Sonny doesn't want to be in the box anymore. He's so frustrated, that's why. Have a hit, He's Sonny. So frustrated. Oh, I should have had it with his left. Oh, Pedro. Oh. Pedro! Oh! On the left foot as well. He nearly had one against Luton last week. Son's getting so frustrated he's dropping out now. We need to get so he's, a focal he's lost point confidence of himself in the, yeah. inside that penalty area. He needs to yeah. he needs to be moved out wide. How long are we going to wait? Here we go. Dejan coming on. Is Papa Matasar going back to the bench? Not sure, really, what's he's going on. He's got his here. jacket on. I wonder did he put it on because he was cold. Thinking about Madison taking matters off. Bench. Maybe he's coming off. Maybe he's injured. Win that, Rummy. Well done. Kulu coming on. Yeah, maybe he is taking... Maybe he isn't doing Sar. Maybe Madison is coming off. No, Sar's got his jacket off. There's two changes here. Werner has to be one, and I think Madison, with the way he looked over, oh, Bentecourt's coming off. Bentecourt's He's been coming superb. off. And then, who else? I think Werner would be the other one, surely. Now, I'll be interested whether Kulu goes down the middle or out on the left-hand side. Johnson, is that Johnson that's come off? Yeah, I certainly hope not. No, Madison. She's freshening up the middle. Yeah, it's gone for Kulusevsky down the middle. 
Madison and Bentecourt off. Kulazewski and Sar on. Interesting substitutions here. He took off our two best players today. Yeah, that, I'm not sure. Madison Is looks pissed off. worried about them tiring, I guess. Madison does not look happy. I wouldn't. I mean, he's been terrific today, Madison. Bentecourt and him were terrific. By far our two best players. How Werner survived, I do not know. Doji. Poor Richie. What does he have to do? Timo. Come on. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus, get a grip, Timo. Kulu's going to be played down the middle, though. We'll see how he does. Well, look, this, you know, this is his opportunity. He said he's always wanted to do there. He better, you know, grab the game by the scruff and neck and dictate it. Romero, 70 minutes. Still 20 minutes to find the winner. This is usually Tottenham's time. Papi. Ah, oh, lovely little shimmy in the foot there. Just like that. DDV, come on, Kulu. You have to pull yourself up the ball. Werner. Back to Biss. Kulu, great good touch. Body. And a sunny so, Kulu, Kulu again. Oh, good ball by Kulu. Johnson, Johnson, shoot it. Oh, no. Why is he not shot? Shoot it, man. Flash it across goal. Shoot it. Oh, well done. Oh, lucky Kulu. Well done. Well done, Johnson. Johnson. Great challenge. Come on. Someone oh, fucking tackle Kudos. Holy shit. How many more times? Jesus Christ. How many more tackles is he going to ride? Romero. Look at Romero Johnson searching shoot, forward yeah. here. And he gives it Sonny. Have a hit. Come on. This is your time now. Out to Werner. Kulu's in there. Werner. Is going What's in? Open? <laughs> oh, corner kick. Uh, once Come on. Get Richie on. This is made for him to score today. I want Sonny to have a hit there. The game is opening up out wide. Get Richie through the middle. Get Son on the left. Come on. Good delivery here. Come on. Come on, Spurs. Kulu with a good impact there, though. That was a great run from him. Poro with the outswinger. We're on the arse just over Van der Ven. Unlucky. Basuma mops it up with a doji. Back to Basuma. Just go to Vicario. Well done. Come on. 20, 20 minutes still to find this winner. <coughs> Papi. Pedro. Spurs kind of setting up again in their shape. Romero on the ball looking for yet again, probably hopefully another break pass. Tomorrow. Pedro. Move forward. Someone move for him. Johnson. There we go, Johnson. Good there move. we go. Well done, Johnson. Pedro. Good ball to Cesar. Tomorrow. Now, sir. He's on. It's a great oh, ball. Oh, 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 come on, Fire for fuck's sake. Yeah, dude, he just needs to play more aggressive just there. Move. He needs to be more aggressive. Why is he just expecting it to it's land on his foot? Cross. He's just expecting it to land on his foot. He needs to be aggressive there. He needs to throw his body at it. It's such a good ball. Pedro. Johnson. Werner. Come on, man. VDV. Onto a doji. Back across to Romero. First time. <sighs> Tyler screaming in the chat. Someone please get on the end of it. Romero. Van de Ven. Sar. Come on, get turned, kid. Look at Kulu. Look at Kulu, Rami. Give it to him. Give it to my guy. Here we go. Oh, he does that. <sighs> yep, see him. Oh, what a pass oh, from Romero. Ball. Come on, Polo. Oh, oh, what a pass. What a ball by Romero as well. No foul, Johnson. No foul. He's going nowhere. It's just that final ball. It's just not happening for us today. West Ham last ditch defending has been okay. I just oh, how is Werner not chomping? Like Richie would be on one of these crosses by now. He'd be on the end of one of them. That is a beautiful ball by Sarah Cross. I just don't know what he's expecting there. It feels like he's just expecting it just to go across all of the defenders and just end up at the back of his foot, really. And it's just oh. it's not always that easy for you, you know? Like you have to gamble. You have to maybe cut across your defender there. Try to get in front of him. Doji again lets it fly over his head. What is he doing? Poro's been doing the same thing. Oh no, just clear, well done. 
How long are we going to leave this before we bring on Richarlison? I mean, he would just be on the end of one of these crosses. He absolutely by would have been on the end of that. He absolutely would have been. Like, what has Richarlison done? Is he like Roddy's daughter or something? Jesus Christ. Perhaps what, he, does he, have he isn't fully fit, up? but I felt like he said he was, if I remember. Who said he was? He said he was fully fit, ready to go if he needed to be selected from the start. Fender Van. Oh, please take uh, Giving it away here on that. this left-hand side. Top of the box, though, Antonio. Romero, Oof, well, done. Star, great defending. well done. Well done. Udoji gives it away. Sonny, you got to oh, wake up, rough, though. Man. Well done, Basuma. Great defending. Well done for well Basuma. Done. So classy. He's been brilliant. He's been very classy today. Bentecor is going down for man of match, and I nearly put Basuma in there as so uh, well. Basuma, Madison, and Bentecor, Dave, from the get-go, You, we were all saying it's been the midfield. And Johnson. Johnson, yeah. Uh, what are we saying? Yeah, Johnson's definitely been the best of the forward line. <sighs> Say Romero's Come on. been terrific in possession, too. Come on, Ange. This is written in the stars for Richardson to come on and score this winner. We do it's have. Written. We do look like we can. We just need someone else to be attacking. Just need somebody. that striker in there. We just need that striker in there, and we look like we can score. Like Sonny's not gambling because he's always dropping off, wanting the ball to feet, and Werner's not gambling either. You just need someone that's going to fucking throw their body in on top of it. Doesn't even have to get a good contact. Just throw yourself at it, like you said with Werner. Just throw yourself at the fucking thing. It's all you got to do when they're with the cross the six yard box. Van de Ven, that's a cheeky little ball. Tries to turn West Ham. Kurt Zuma doesn't look too comfortable. Oh, well done. Put him in the West Ham final third now. Come on. Listen on. Lane saying get Son off. I wouldn't keep I wouldn't take him off. I'll put him on to left wing and get Werner on. It's written for it. Or get Werner off. He was killing Kufal and he's just died out of the game completely. Papa Sar moves it to Romero. Good ball out to Johnson in space. He's got options here. He's got Poro and Kulu. He uses Kulu. Kulu back to Johnson. Stands it up. Oh, that's poor. It's poor. Straight into the keeper's hands. It's, up. it's anyone's game here, but Spurs do look like the more likely one to do score. It's just, continue to say, it's just calling out for another striker just to make his impact. Oh, that's time on the attack. Well on Pedro Porro done well there. Tottenham throwing, is it? Yeah. Come on, let's get it underway. Let's start being relentless now. 13 minutes to go. Batter the door down. Throw the fucking kitchen sink out. Rip the bathtub out. Who cares? Let's go. Adoji. On to Werner. Well Werner, good ball around the corner. Great spin by Kulu. That's a bloody free kick, ref. Come on, Ange. Make another sub, man. Basuma. Out to Romero. Now let's go, Romero. Come on, Ron Bomb. West Ham are not interested in pressing right now. See Werner. Switch it out to Werner. Yes. Oh, good ball out to Poro. Oh, oh come on, Poro. Go with it. Go with it. It feels like when Son's there, they space. feel like it has to go to him. Just go on the outside. Take go. your space. Again, Poro, take your space. We're so frustrating in the final card. We are so frustrating. Come on, Ange. Stop being stubborn now. Get Richie on. One he is. Well on, Poro. Out to Adoji. He's going to have to run with this. Well wow, done, kid. That's just brilliant. What a Good ball into well. Sonny as well. Good layoff to Sar. That's Sars to check his run, but he picks it up. On to Poro. Into Basuma. Come on, feed it forward now. Don't allow them See to Adoji. get back. Come on, Sarge, get turned. See Timo again. Adoji out to Timo. Comes back again. It's four or five times he's done that this half. Basuma, good ball into Sonny. Sonny, on to Poro. Poro, out to Johnson. See Sonny, top of the box. Yes, Johnson. No one in the middle. No one in the middle. 
Sonny, have a hit, man. Pedro 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 oh, so close to getting on the end. Doji, oh. offside. Come on. I thought he was in there, sir. I thought it was perfect. Johnson looking. There's no vocal point in the middle there. Son's just sitting on the edge of the box. Werner's offside. Fucking hell. How's he offside there? Yeah, I mean, that's a laser eye offside there. Tyler says, who, is, who the F is offside? It's Werner. I can't believe he's offside there. Here we go, Richie. Hopefully getting ready. Here we go. Why we're only bringing it on with 10 minutes to go when it's been crying out from from about 60 minutes, I don't know. But Richie, you got to prove me right today, kid. It's been written in the stars for you to come on. Come on. And I look like Hoiberg getting ready as well, interestingly enough. Yeah. Hopefully he brings that urgency, Jack, and starts pinging balls forward. Carry on. On to Romero. You're going to have to run with it, Romero. Ref, he's bloody holding on. Come on, referee. I mean, it's not it's not UFC. Why are we leaving it so late to make this change? I think we've left it far too late. Kudoji. Oh, Lord. <coughs> Vicario. Romero. Come on, get him on. Change quicker, Richie. <laughs> Come on, proo proo time. Come on. Come on, pigeon. Now he's got to come on. He's got to come on here right now. And Sosberg coming on, two of them. Sosberg on for Basuma, I'm assuming. Great game from Basuma. Surely the instruction to Richardson is just sit on the shoulders of the centre backs. Just sit there. Great game from Basuma. Well Basuma. The whole come on, Sosberg. Starting come on, Sosberg. Starting the field was terrific. And Werner's off. Come on, Pru Pru. Some back out to the left, surely. People saying it's too late. Look, time will tell. Tom will tell. Let's wait and see. Well done, Pedro. Well done, Poro. Johnson. Richie. On to Pruri. Lovely well done, Richie. Come on, Come on Kulu. Hey, Come Papa, on. Richie. Come on, Kulu. Run at him. Come on. Good ball in the oh. middle. Johnson just couldn't get on the end. Kulu picks it back up. Richie. <laughs> Sir. Hoy, Berg. Softball. Good ball to Kulu. Sir, Kulu, get turned. Get out of the way. Flash one across, please. Oh, my oh, Lord. No. Oh, Ooh, Lord, man. Kulu. Richardson, straight away, impact. Come on. Eight minutes. He's, he's left it late to bring him on to do something, but let's wait and see. West Ham with the throw in. Oh, now's not the time to be giving away silly free kicks. We just want to get the ball down and batter the door. Switch a player by West Ham to Emerson. This is where West Ham would probably look to come on strong here now. Richie trying to chase down everything. Kulu following. Now on to Sonny. Someone Kudos. smash Kudos, please. Out to Mikel Antonio. Emerson, back to Antonio. Running at Pedro Porro. Gets on the outside, goes to put the ball across. Well done, Carrio collects it. Come on, let's go on the attack here while they've committed numbers. Kulu, Into look Kulu. up. Look forward, man. Jesus. Hoiberg. Let's go, Tottenham. Urgency. Basuma to Salzburg. Come on, lads. Pierre. We just got to give one chance for Charleston. Great switch of play by Hoiberg. That's it. Go on, keep going on the press. Ah, how are we allowing him to pick that up? Well done, Pierre. Kudos is a very good player. Yeah, he's, he's been their best player, I'd say. We successfully have taken Bowen out of the game. 
just feel we've left too late to make that substitution with Richarlison. Wonder also with the midfield substitutions, felt like should have kept M- Madison or Bentoncourt because they really were terrific. Yeah. I just feel like Kulusevsky just sadly hasn't made any impact. No. So Come yeah, on, one of those, were, uh, let's hope that we get the win here, but one of those were, yeah, Andrew's substitutions. Slightly questionable. Down the line oh, here for Bowen. Don't allow West Ham to play here. Don't allow him to get the ball in. Uh, Stay switched on. We've got to try and create one more chance here. Got to try and create one more chance. <sighs> Do not let this slip. Grab a winner. Come on, lads. Just do not let them score here. Carry all. That's it. He's telling Hoiberg to come. No. No, it's a free header. Jeez, we are lucky. <laughs> get get your candles lighting for Richardson goal, guys. A six minutes on the clock. Johnson limping. Tottenham look out of ideas. Can can we pull something out of the gods? Danny Ings ready to come on. The battle of holding now for the striker to the last minute. <laughs> well, we're not looking good in possession Boy, right now. Softburg with a bit of urgency. We like to see this. Come good on, ball Tino, out wide. Take your space now. Come on, Werner, burn him. Or it's sunny here. Sorry, it's sunny. Get it in there. In a Get it in there. Oh, good block. Corner kick. He's looking for a handball, though. Nothing. Come on, Var. Please, you owe us penalties. We haven't got any all season. Finally, we were able to see Sonny out on the wing. Let's have a look at this. Mm, no. Hard to tell. It's not going to be given. Unless it's his right arm there. Unless ball, it hit it's his right arm. Given. No, I can't tell. Nothing there. Come on, we just need one good delivery and someone with a bit of bollocks to throw themselves at it. It's an in-swinger. This is perfect. Just get a good delivery here. Pedro whips it in. He's over no. it. He's way over it. Johnson hits it back in there. Sar has a hit. No wrong option. Nah, not the right decision there. Oh... <sighs> Everyone's getting frustrated now. I get it, guys. I get it. We have actually played all right tonight. It's played just really been well. Jared has been frustrating. The substitutions were wrong. Left the ones to come on. Richardson came on, especially way too late. Here we go. Late Giovanni Lascelles coming on. Maybe that's an admittance that maybe Kulu and Sar hasn't worked. Let it go and get it underway. Come on now. Back to the Vicario. Let's move. Yeah, I just. It's, yeah, we'll definitely we'll talk about it afterwards, but it is one of those where it's a mixture, mixed bag. Poro just smashes it out towards Sunside. Oh. Go, go on, Kulu. If only West Ham could put on Calvin Phillips, I think we could win this. Come on, give us like 10 minutes injury time. Ball behind for Bowen. Oh, don't let him. What's going on here? Why is Van de Ven just allowed that? Kudos. Great save by Vicario. He's on the double save. It's not flying anyway. Is it a free kick? Pulled it back. Yeah, he's pulled it back. That was crack. That was two saves. That was hilarious as well. You made them give up on that. Johnson being taken off. Great performance from Johnson, I must say. Yeah, he's probably that earned himself Kulu the right to. Played. He's earned himself the right to play again on that right wing. Yeah, it now means Lacesso coming on. Kulu will probably go out to the right hand side here. West Ham just completely slowing this game down now. 
I just want to see one ball in behind Kurt Zuma. He looks a bit leggy. Ref, stop being so fickle and let them get on with the fucking thing. Well done, Kulu. Up here, put a foot in, man. Well done. Well done, Kulu. Kulu. Sir. Ref, come on now. Oh, Lord. He just wants them to score and score a winner, doesn't he? What's that, four minutes? It's a joke. Come on, just get one last attack going. Wow, what's that? I'm just digging in here now and getting every bounce of the ball. Well done, Romero. Romero. Corner kick to West Ham. He's fuming, Romero. We just got to try and deal with this and then get on the attack and create one more bloody opportunity. Moy's telling them to take their time with the set piece. He knows exactly what he's doing here, running down the clock. <coughs> West Ham fans are loving this. It's embarrassing. Got to deal with this. Get Kurt Zoom off for carry on now. Oh, ref, you're slowing everything down. Yeah, he's just trying to help West Ham over the line here now. That's twice, the free kick and the corner. Will you just let them bloody get on with it? If you're going to say give a free kick, just give a fucking free kick for it. You don't need to warn them. A chess player never tells his opponent next move, does he, you bloody idiot? Ward Prowse with the delivery. It's gone big and back towards well done, post. Well on Please, Tottenham, just get hold of this ball and create one more chance. Ball in. Right, squeeze it out now. Squeeze it. Come on. Sonny going full tilt. Fabianski delivers one long. It's over the top. Right, Tottenham. Get the ball down. This has to be perfect now. Romero. Into the Salso. Come on, please show something, please. Come on, we don't have time now. Oh my God, Romero. The 12 touches only to pass it right back where he Fucking came from. Fucking hell, it's embarrassing. Romero. Into the ball into Richie. Richie. Well done. Get it to Sonny now. Let's go, Sonny. This is your time. He gives it away. He picks it back up, though. Good ball into the south side. Play a doji. Just get it in the box. Richie's there now. Oh, Lord, someone help him. Right, come on. One minute, 30 seconds left on the clock. All we need is one bit moment of brilliance. Romy. Get it out to Kulu, right, Kulu. Time to make amends for last week. Let's... Poro. What's time with every man behind the ball? The Celso. What's time forcing us backwards? Hoiberg. Come on, get out to Sar now. Romero have an adventure forward. On to Kulu. Get it out and get it in. It's a good ball. The Celso. Oh, Doji. Oh, Doji. Oh, no. Oh, he got a good shot at goal as well. It's just straight at the keeper. He does everything right. Keep it down. Get over it. Oh, no, it's just straight no. down the middle. Either side and that's in. If he scuffs it, if he actually scuffs it, that's in. 30 seconds left here. Probably won't get another opportunity. It's with his right foot as well. You wish it was on his left. Right, Vicario. This has to go long. Oh, no. Kudos picks it up. Don't foul him. Well done, Romero. Porro with the clearance. Only as far as Sushek. Plays one over the top. West Ham are in here. It's pulled across. No, no. Vicario's out of his goal. Good defending by Van der Ven. Well done, well done Adoshi. On. Sonny on the break. Come on, one Come last on, attack, Sonny, ref. Please. Come on, Sonny. You've got to drive. Please. You've got to drive. You've got two players outside. Kulu. Oh, oh no. That's oh, shocking. Who the fuck Kulu, was that? Kulu. What are you oh, holy Kulu? fuck. That was shocking. Oh, my Lord. That is shocking from him. Kulu, I think man. I can see what he's trying to do, but that's shocking. West Ham West now Ham trying to win it. Break. 
God, cool. Game man. over. <sighs> oh, cool, for fuck's sake. What are you doing right at that's, the end there? That's a hard one to dissect because Spurs, I thought, played well. And just certain players, maybe not at the at the office today. Sonny, sadly, wasn't really his best at striker. Was crying out for him to be pushed out for that left wing so he could get some confidence, get on the ball more, make something happen for himself. Richarlison no. should have probably been brought on a lot, lot sooner. It was just kind of dying for him to come into the game. And I even say the midfield, too. They were terrific today. The midfield, who started the game, were absolutely amazing. And and to take mm. both of them off, Bentecourt and Madison, to me, was mm. honestly a bit questionable. I think he set the team up really well, Ange. I think the team really did look like they were the better side and should have gone on to win it. It's just frustrating because we, we do still have that lack of clinical edge in the final third. And then also, sadly, I think the guy who we did need to be, you know, kind of his sharpest today was Sonny. Because I think Sonny did have some moments. I wouldn't say it was as much to score. Just like he had a few moments to get an assist, I thought. Like a few moments where he could have played the right ball in behind, could have had the right touch, and maybe something would have happened or something could have come up from it. Sadly, just wasn't his best today. And I'd say the same thing with Pedro Poro. Don't get me wrong. It's not even all on Sonny in that mm-hmm. regard. Poro is a similar example of somebody who normally is one of our best players and normally is one of our technically gifted best players as well, like mm-hmm. Sonny, and wasn't his sharpest, like, you know, on a technical level or really just on a quality level. And yeah, we suffered from that. We defended pretty well throughout the game. Like, yes, that set piece really caught us out. But again, I think we dealt with most of the set pieces pretty well. It's a hard one to take, Dave, because it's not one that I'm really... It's hard to me. It's like, yes, I could critique, and I think I have been, you know, critiquing little things here and there. But for the most part, like, it's good enough performance to probably get the win. We just didn't get the win. Look, for me, I I think there's a lot of frustration. I think there probably will be. I'm gauging by the reaction in the chat. A lot of frustration to that. Look, don't get me wrong, I'm as frustrated as everyone else, but I did say, you know, the prop the you know, the consistency is key over these next, you know, nine games. If you can't win a game, you don't lose and you still keep the point ticking the but the points ticking over. However, saying that it's a massive opportunity miss with Aston Villa playing Man City tomorrow. These are sort of the momentum games that you should try and, and need to get over the line to really try and cement top four. So I think along with the Fulham game, it's it's a huge opportunity missed. But for me, where the game went wrong today was the selection up front. I thought it was completely wrong. Sun down the middle, it went wrong from the start. You know, he, if if he put if if Richardson gave away the amount of ball Sun did in the first half, people would have been asking for him to come off at half time. They would have been screaming in the chat about him. Yeah. Second half, it didn't get much better. Largely, Sun got frustrated and was dropping deep, trying to get on things and run at the team, and that left us with no presence in the box whatsoever. Box crosses going in, no striker in there to try and get on the end of it. Um, for me. I think Pasta Coglu made the wrong call on that regard and to be honest I think he bottled it I think you know he fed into Son how big Son is around Tottenham and I think he bottled the call I think he should have realised the way West Ham are going to set up realised how to get the best out of Sonny to affect this game and should have got him onto that left wing a lot sooner and got Richarlison on a lot earlier he actually made the right call in midfield today to be fair to the guy um, Pasta Coglu made the right call in midfield but taking Madison and Bentecourt off when he did I think had an adverse re- effect in terms of the midfield, in terms of poking ball forward and stuff like that. The biggest letdown is look the set piece. I think we're always expecting West Ham to probably score one. For me, the biggest the biggest letdown was up in the forward area. You know, we just didn't quite click there. It was a lot of frustrating, a lot of good work up up to the final area, but then there was a lot of times the final ball was just missing. But we also got punished when we had large percentage of possession in the first half. The second half was a bit more even. When we had the large percentage of this possession in the first half, we didn't use it to go and kill off West Ham. Uh, and this is somewhere where, 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 you know, some things that we need to work on heading into next season. Look, I'm disappointed, but, you know, top four isn't gone yet. We still got a point. Hopefully, um, Man City will beat Aston Villa tomorrow. We're left with a game in hand. Technically, it's still within our grasp. But 
it's a hard one, like you said, Jack. You know, a lot of what we done, we defended well. You know, put everything up to the final third. You know, was brilliant. It's just that final third; it was very frustrating. And for me, that's where that's where the game. Although we didn't lose it, the expression goes, that's where the game was lost today. You know, if, even if he would have made that change with Richardson a hell of a lot sooner, or even when he brought on Kulu, put him up front, just get that presence in the box, we might have, uh, you know, changed it. But bringing him on, him and Hoiberg with eight minutes to go. I mean, what's he expecting them to do? For me, he left it far too late. And unfortunately, as much as I actually, you know, don't agree with a lot of the criticism that comes past the Coglu's way, this is actually one today. Yeah. I think, I think maybe is probably on him. Yeah, I'd agree. I think he got it wrong um, with the with the substitutions and it took a lot of the momentum away from us and just took off some of the best players, like, right? And he kept on some of the players that were not, you know, the best players on the pitch, right? And especially in the yeah. case, I think, of Werner and maybe some others. Um, it's just, yeah. Uh, and I think, sadly, Dave and I are almost never in that case of, you know, putting it on his doorstep, but this is one where he probably made his own enemy or you know he kind of was his own worst enemy kind of in the game with some of the substitutions that he made i'd actually say he got it right though with the midfield clearly in that game yeah. you know we were questioning whether sar was the right candidate bentecor played out of his mind today was He's really boring. terrific and madison too mm-hmm. like dave and i had criticisms of madison going into this game thought he really did answer the call not like you know to the best you know 10 out of 10 type of performance but he was not the problem at all today like madison was terrific today and and making things happen brennan johnson too another guy that we've had criticism for as well a good performance from him created a lot on that right hand side was definitely the brightest out of all the forwards and was also the sharpest out of all the forwards Mm -hmm. too today and uh probably deserved you know maybe an assist or probably did deserve maybe more than just the goal that he did get mm-hmm. like it wasn't just the goal and then he disappeared or anything like that felt like he kept he growing into the game kept trying to make things happen was demanding the ball as well which i appreciate like to see players do that you know not hiding mm-hmm. asking for it asking to make things happen for themselves it's just felt like yeah certain it was one of those days where like I think I agree with you. Like we'll take the draw in the grand scheme of things. I think someone yeah. even point out we still have that game in hand with that draw as well. So but we, that is Chelsea away, which we never win. So <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, it's just that I think the reason why maybe we're not as proud or as like complimentary of the draw is I don't know maybe because we just felt like we played well enough to deserve the win. And so when you think you played you know well enough to deserve the win and you didn't get it. Yeah, you just have that little bit of that empty feeling still, or kind of that wanting mm. feeling. I think that's how I describe it. Had West Ham offered mm. more of a threat, had West Ham really challenged us more, I think you and I maybe be walking out of this thinking, you know what, we'll take it 1 1. Of course, mm. we would like to have won that, but glad we got out of there without losing points mm. entirely. It's just like West Ham really, I mean, they didn't put a foot to us really for the majority of that game. And they looked no, like they'd think- given up in a lot of periods of it, mm. and we just didn't take advantage of that. Look, especially later on in the game, right, with West Ham, you know, tiring and stuff like that. I, I, I was disappointed that we couldn't get to grips with the final 10 minutes. You know, West Ham had their fair share of the position. We got erratic, you know, when really we needed the calmest heads in the room and stuff like that. But I think the reason why it's just disappointed is, again, it's another opportunity missed. West Ham didn't play well whatsoever. You know, again, it's stupid defending from a set piece. Um, we played well, but we just didn't create an awful lot. And unfortunately, you know, I, I do think the team selection across that front line was wrong. I, I highlighted it heading in to the game um, that I didn't think it was right and um, you know it could cause us troubles but you know okay it's fine if you get it wrong but then make that Richarlison sub earlier and I just think we left two points there tonight and I think that's where a lot of the disappointment and frustration is probably going to come from from the fan base of the next few days is that we left two points there today that was there if we really wanted to go for it and it just looked like we were a bit tentative maybe a little bit scared and um Look, again, it's, it's you know, we haven't learned any lessons. You know, again, it's another opportunity missed to take a grip of that top four. And, and sadly, it's starting to feel a bit like Conte, where we had all them opportunities last season to great, get, grab that momentum. And we sort of failed at that opportunity when it presented itself. And, yeah. you know, the warning signs are there. This could tail off very, very quickly if we, uh, you know, if we don't take advantage of these games. You've got to remember, we've got City, Arsenal and Liverpool in this running in these last eight games, you know. So we've got to start, you know, take picking up the points in these games today if we would have won that we would have gone on to get top four it's that sort of game it's that sort of confidence boost and it just felt like you know i think Ange let us down today despite me absolutely loving Ange, you know it's probably the first criticism i'll add in my season he let us down today and uh, we just left two points there it's sad 
Frankly, Tottenham with a super chat says, does Ange uh, ever teach them how to shoot? Shake my head. I think this has been a, a, a criticism Dave and I have had kind of of the team this season. Yeah. Is that a bit on Ange? Could be because we do have the tendency to want to create the perfect goal, sort of walk it into the net when there is like easy chances to you know shoot on site yes you might not score but you will challenge the keeper if you put in a good shot and you never know you might spill it or you might parry it away to somebody for a nice tap in or another chance afterwards it doesn't have to be the cleanest of goals or anything like that i would like us to challenge the keeper more because we have opportunities either outside of the box where i wish we'd take more of a chance especially with more dangerous players like Sonny, players like maybe madison as well and and others but even too like times when we have it in the box and we just look to cross it or look to you know pass it one more time when really the shot's actually already there for us to take in the first place and I think even Poro was really guilty of one of those Dave if I remember correctly like he had like a ball in the penalty area looked to cross it to Sonny when it's Pedro Poro like he actually should be looking to have a shot there I think Johnson despite having a really good game also had a similar moment when maybe he looked to probably cross it when easily could have had a shot but you know that's just one well, moment he had a good game but something everybody's been guilty of this season frankly Tottenham everybody's been guilty of it do you know what it is it just feels like when Stun's up the middle absolutely we're not allowed to score unless it comes through him Johnson done it a couple of times where we would have been better served going on his own and he, he was in the first half he'd done it twice he fed Sun and Sun's standing right beside him it's sort of like you know it feels like they're in fear and they have to give it off to Sun Son needs to be more disciplined as a striker. Stop coming out to where Brennan Johnson is. Stop demanding the bloody ball off him and being where you're supposed to be. He's another reason why we lost this game today. He didn't do his job. And I have very rarely said that about Son this season. But he didn't do his job. He didn't play the disciplined striker role that we needed out of him. But what's more frustrating, Jack, is um, anyone that did watch the members show, we spoke about what was going to happen. We said, with the way West Ham play against us, and if Son goes through the middle... We will have to score the perfect goal. Mm -hmm. We said that in the pre-match build-up. Now, if me and you can do that, and we had about one hour, you know, to sort of put that together and have a discussion and that about it, after such a quick turnaround from Luton, what are all the bloody analysts and stuff doing like that inside the club? I just don't understand how we made the wrong decision here today. If fans like us could see what was going to happen... And, 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 and caution how is no one in there seeing it and then to leave it so bloody late to change it mm -hmm. I'm sorry it's nowhere near good enough Son let us down today he didn't play that disciplined role you know he kept on coming out at one stage Madison was running with the ball he comes out and gets in his way what are you doing I get you're getting frustrated, but the great strikers, they stick to their job. They stick to their known, stick on the shoulder last man. There's crosses coming in. Anytime a cross came in the box, Sonny's standing out on the edge of it. No. What? You know, it's nowhere near good enough from him, and he also let us down up front today. I don't fully blame him because Ange, Ange should have had the balls to say, Sonny, I get you may I'm want dead. to be the main man and play through the middle and stuff, but you need to go out left today for this game to suit us for what Tottenham need. And I feel like, you know, between the two of them, they really let us down today. And I don't usually say that about Son, but he didn't do his job. He kept on coming out and getting in other people's way. He was getting frustrated up there. Really appreciate the support, frankly, Tottenham. And just quickly for me um, on what you just said there, Dave, it's just one of those games where, like I've, we've kind of rammed home, you're just not playing to Sonny's strengths with his, when you're asking him to play with his back to goal, when you're asking him to stand between four or five defenders mm -hmm. with no space to work with. And it's pretty much static, you know, where we're trying to work it past a really low block defense. Yes, he can do it. Yes, he can do a job there, but it's not playing to his strengths. So to expect him to have, I think, you know, a brilliant performance, you know, in that position, I just don't think is realistic because he will fade out of games. He will actually even lose confidence. Like I think what happened today, I think he actually sort of lost confidence in himself and he didn't back himself anymore to try to, you know, be that penalty mm -hmm. threat. And he wanted to just go to more his comfort zone, which is what Dave and I have advocated for him to play yeah. for is playing more his comfort zone, have him receive the ball facing his man, have him receive the ball in the wide areas or whatever it may be. You just have him where he can pick up the ball and make things happen mm -hmm. instead of having to always, you know, uh, sort of, yeah, play with his back to goal like a, like a striker would. And it's just one of those yeah. games where I think he just kind of more and more just lost confidence in himself. And yeah. we paid the consequence of that with Ange just persisting with it instead of maybe seeing yeah. the signs that it just wasn't his day.
wasn't yeah. at the office. Great. Uh, uh, sorry, Adrian Chia with the super chat saying, "Great stream, lads. Glad Basuma put in a decent shift today. You should be glad, Adrian Chia, as a member of the Basuma Third Kid Society, but also I think in general for us fans of this midfield, like we want there to be a consistent number six. Mm. Not saying that Basuma's answered that call or anything, but this is what makes Basuma, I think, a funny player, right, Dave? Is that he will have a great game like this, a very classy performance. And then sometimes the next game or the game afterwards, it will be very different and he'll kind of switch off and be a completely different player. But today, I think the midfield really does deserve credit. Adrian Chia Basuma was yeah. brilliant defensively. He was all over the pitch, was good in possession, made the right decisions for the most part as well. I mean, Dave, yeah, I think he deserves credit putting a decent shift today. No, look, he put in a very decent shift. Look, don't get me wrong. I think he was helped by Bentecourt taking a lot of the responsibility and Madison actually yeah. taking the responsibility, getting on the ball, moving it, rather than actually Ma uh, Basuma having to pick up the ball, be that own. sort of link man, and also be the one to drive it forward and progress it. So, you know, it was a very, it was a midfield tree that actually worked very well and really helped each other out and made each other look good, you know. Basuma was brilliantly defensively getting across either side, which meant Madison and Bentecourt didn't have to get caught out and stuff like that. Like that they really complemented each other well in there today. Um, and Basuma, you know, you, you know, what we didn't see and what I found I find largely frustrating with the guy was how long he usually dawdles on the ball. He didn't have to do that today because Bendicor and Madison wouldn't allow it. But what Basuma did do is do his job perfectly. He didn't get caught on the ball defensively, mopped up a few things and stuff like that. And he'd done all the simple things very well. For me, a good performance from him. But this is the thing, he blows too hot and cold. For this running, we need players blowing hot for the next seven games. I don't want a player to be 8 out of 10 one week and 4 out of 10 the next week. I'd rather him be at a 7 every single week. You know, so for me, now it's just about bringing the consistency. But you had a good game today, and that whole midfield trio I was very impressed with it. It really did work. They complemented each other. But that's the disappointing thing about it. People were worried coming into this game about the midfield. You know, that's where a lot of question marks have been over the last few weeks. But today, they didn't let us down. They'd done their job. It was the guys up front in the forward areas, mainly not Johnson, actually. I excluded him. He'd done his job. Son and Werner, that really let us down. Yeah. Well said, Adrian Chi. And uh, it's a good point, you know, to give Basuma his credit, and especially for you as a big fan of his. And really appreciate you always tuning in for the watch longs. Al Ben says, if Ange puts trust, uh, put his trust in Werner, I give up on Ange. Nothing since uh, the 10th minute. His one and two contributions aren't worth all of his other lack of abilities. Listen, now, Ben, I totally understand your criticism of Werner today. Like on an individual level, he did fade out of the game. And also he had an opportunity to really cause Sufal like a nightmare. It looked like he had you know easy work of him. And for some reason, just, I don't know what it was really. I'd have to look back on it. Just faded out of the game. Probably for the most part, his own fault. I think I'm not sure why it was. And just didn't take advantage of that matchup. Ange made a mistake today. I'm going to, you know, call a spade a spade. I don't think he made the right decisions with the substitutions. Don't think he saw the game in the right way when it came to who needed to come on, make the impact. Thought he made the wrong decisions with the midfield. And I thought he made the wrong decision by keeping Werner on the pitch. Does it mean that he's like a Werner fanboy or like something like that? I don't know. Like, I think Ange just, you know, at the just sees, you know, Werner is the right option on the left wing for these past games. And now we'll have to relook at it. I think even people have said the same thing with Kulusevsky, where they've been asking Ange to take him off. Eventually he has, right? He, he started with Johnson today and he got the benefits of it. I'd say give Ange the benefit of the doubt. See if he looks maybe to bring Richarlison in kind of the next game through the middle and put Sonny back, you know, on the wing. I just, I don't think it's worth losing your full confidence and giving up on Ange, like you say there. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to think about Ange. I can understand if you have some criticisms of him for today, but let's try to maybe give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's see if he can try to right, you know, this this mistake. Look, when it comes to Ange, right, you know, look, everyone makes mistakes over the course of the season. The players make mistakes and Ange is going to make some mistakes. Unfortunately, Ange shaved his mistake for today, which was not ideal. Look, when we made the first substitutions, me and Jack couldn't believe what we were seeing with Bendicorn Madison being hauled off. At that point, we were already screaming for Werner to be taken off. He completely died out of the game. The first 10 minutes, he had Kufel on the back step and was absolutely roasting and burning him every opportunity. It's where the goal came from, from Johnson, from him doing exactly that. But all of a sudden, he stopped doing it. And then in the second half, anytime the ball did go out to him, he kept on coming back with it. 
You know, it's it's not good enough from Werner. And this is my whole point around Werner. You're going to get some good things, but also you're going to get frustrating things. What we need is a player that's going to be at it every single time he gets that ball. A bit like Johnson today. I've, I've had my criticisms of Johnson, don't get me wrong. But every time the guy got the ball today, he was direct and looked to affect the game. And that we we need players that want to do that week in, week out. Every whole 90 minutes, they should want to get on that ball and run and make things happen. But, you know, have a bit of desire and bite about you. For whatever reason, Werner started off very well, but then sort of got scared and faded out, sort of not wanted to take Kufal on and that anymore. Um, I don't understand how he lasted on the pitch for as long as he did. Um, look, this is why I keep saying I wouldn't sign on. I'd be looking at maybe doing something else in the summer. Um just not good enough and this is the problem he blows hot and cold you don't know what you're going to get when you put him out there and um you know we've had too many of them prayers in years gone by um but look not solely on him today he should have been taken off earlier as well in fact he wasn't even in my starting lineup i wouldn't have started him today personally but uh Look, he got the nod, he started off very well, got the assist, but completely faded out the game. And that's where Ange needed to make a substitution. I just think Ange will look to try to correct this, and he might see that it was wrong to, to stick with Werner. I don't think he's like some sort of Werner fanboy like some people have made it out to be. I think he isn't like, you know, his biggest fan or anything like that. I'd be surprised if he really were to, you know, die on a Werner hill, you know, of all the players to die on a hill for. I really don't doubt that. I doubt it would be Werner, but... I understand, Al. I can see where your frustrations are after this game. Ange did get it wrong, and I'm not going to hide away from that. Mm. Definitely not. Yeah. Big up to you, sir. Really appreciate your support. Michael from Poland. Big up to you, Michael. Member for 23 months as a fan show member. Two years as a fan show member, this guy. Big up, Michael. And he says, frustrating, annoying, stressful. We are rubbish on set pieces, both off and uh, both offensively and defensively. Too much uh, effing about. Too little decision making and yeah. responsibility. Yeah. Where do you agree with Michael there? I mean, set pieces, of course, you know, still a constant annoyance to us. But he said also that we've been poor from them, you know, kind of uh, offensively as well. Even our own set pieces to try to score were not great. And then he said that Spurs didn't take any responsibility, not enough, you know, kind of onus in the game, kind of too much messing about. Look, it's the decision making and responsibility. You know, I think responsibility is probably the word I've been for trying to find for Madison for quite, you know, the last few weeks. He stepped up today, but, you know, like we said, it's everyone trying to score the perfect goal, a little intricate stuff. That's great when you've got the players to do it and you're doing that week in, week out, and the confidence is there. But you know, against West Ham, you have to you have to be a bit more. Um, aware of what's going on around you. Where did the goal come from? Out wide, right? Got the ball out wide, killed him. Where was Johnson killing him? Getting the ball out wide, one-on-one -on -one with the fullback. Why all of a sudden did we switch it up and start trying to feed everything through the middle just to try and get Sun into the game and stuff like that? You want to get Sun into the game, someone tell him to start making the run in the box when the crosses are coming in. Not have to adapt for everything to go through him because he's getting frustrated. You know, but that's where someone needs to take the responsibility and speak to people on the pitch. Stop going through the middle. It's where West Ham are blocking everything up. We know this. How many times do we come up against teams that play low block? Where do we get our joy? Going out wide and taking on the full back. Why are we going back to resort and trying to play the perfect passes through the middle and stuff like that? Really infuriating. So that's where other people need to take responsibility. In terms of decision making, again, you know, and look, I throw everyone in on this. Udoji in the first half, he's after cutting inside, he's nowhere to go with the ball. Have a bloody shot. You know, he doesn't. He decides to go back with it. You know, it, it, it's poor. There's other opportunities there. Madison had times to shoot, chose not to. Son, one touch, get the ball out your foot, have a bang, chose not to do it. Poro, how many occasions did he have to do it as well? It's really frustrating. If you don't shoot, you don't score. It's that simple. Mm. You know, so there's a few things there I agree with Michael on as well, but set pieces is something I've been going on about for some time. Unfortunately, it's the one set piece Vicario didn't come and claim. That cost us all game. Apart from that, he was brilliant on the set pieces tonight. I said in the pre-match build-up or in my um, my predicted lineup uh, on Vicario, he's going to have to come out and command his six-yard box and help the defenders, and he'd done that. The one time he didn't want to do it and got caught behind, behind Antonio, we got caught. It's just we don't learn our lessons. You know, if we want to take that next step, we got we got to find a way to win these games. We've got to have a bit more hunger and desire about us in general. And it's not just me that feels like that. I think most Spurs fans feel like that at this point. But I do caveat with, we've got a lot of players in their early 20s. We are going to see these up and yeah. downs. We are going to go through these frustrations. 
And it's also with young players, I'm not sure if it's always explainable, like they just have inconsistencies in them and they will like fluctuate in kind of their levels and Mm -hmm. their consistency where the best and most experienced players, what do they usually (coughs) say about them, Dave, right? They're always at a very high level and they usually hit it at a very consistent sort of pace. And I think with the young talents, there's the reason they're kind of young talents are kind of given that uh, label because, right, they will have flashes of brilliance and then... Uh, at other times, you know, they're not like they'll be terrible or anything, but might not be good enough on the day when you really need them. And that's what comes, yeah. like you say, with a growing team and a young team, too. Uh, very good point yeah. there. And uh, big up, Michael, my man. 23 big months up, as well. Really do appreciate your support. And you're a vital member of this community, my man. Jacob big Anderson, up. member for 26 months as an elite member. Big up to you. Actually, sorry, I skipped one. Frankly, Tottenham saying, why is Madison taken off so early in games, Dave? Um answered the last time i don't think he played very well in the last you know game you know uh before this match i felt like he probably didn't really deserve to actually be on the pitch much longer so for Ange to take him off i didn't have much problem with that today i didn't really get it uh frankly tottenham so what do you think uh Ange is taking madison off so early for Look, I would say another game's probably rightly so. Look, I don't think any name should be too big to be hauled off. If you're not performing, you take him off, you bring on the next guy. That's where we need to go. You know, you see Man City take off Haaland at times if he's not doing well on other players, you know. We need to get to that point. No player should be undroppable or unsubable. But look, when it comes to James Madison, he actually played well today. And I actually don't agree with him being taken off. But just when I sit there and think about it, he came to Tottenham with an injury. Earlier on in the season, he was being taken off early because he was injured. Then he had his massive of injury then he's come back i'll be brutally honest i look at the guy he does not look fit to me whatsoever he just does not look fit and that's probably his biggest issue this season is how fit is he how fit has he been this season mm. that's probably why maybe he's still carrying a niggle you know look teams are getting physical on madison and he doesn't like it either um you know and they do hurt when they start leaving them on your ankles the top of your foot like that and stuff like that it hurts and over time you take enough of them it causes your problems yeah it, today was the wrong day to take him off early, but other games, I mean, I could see where Ange was, th- you know, coming mm-hmm. from with it for me, uh, frankly, Tom, or at least I'd say he just wasn't playing as well as he was today where, you know, he deserved to be on the pitch today, he definitely deserved to stay on that pitch. Big up to you, sir. Really do appreciate your support. Jacob Anderson, member for 26 months, elite member as well for 26 oh, months. Jacob Anderson, you legend. Years. He says, Sonny is too good of a player to not show up at this stage of the season. I think Spurs need a huge summer. They need two top-class wingers and maybe a striker. Thanks for the stream, guys. Come on, you Spurs. Jacob, thank you, my man, for supporting this channel for as long as uh, as long as you have. Don't yeah. thank us. Um, with Sonny, though, Jacob, I, I know where you're coming from, right? Where it's like, yeah, this is a game where he did need to show up. This is a game where he did need to step up for us. I just don't think we were playing to his strengths from the get-go, and Dave and I have maintained that. Like We would have gotten, I think, a better game from Sonny had we played him on the wing or even moved him out to the wing sooner. Yeah, yeah. go for the trial experiment or go with what maybe the original thinking is, You know, try to catch them out early with Sonny through the striker, but eventually I think you do play to his strengths more by playing him on that wing, and we didn't do that today, hence why I think his performance kind of just was completely, yeah, just not what we expect of him, and we know what we, he can do. So I'll I'm not going to say it's completely on him. Of course, we know, like he, you know, he's not going to blame it on anybody else but himself. Sonny's very accountable that way. I just don't mm. think we were playing to his strengths today, me personally. Like, that's how I see it. Mm. I understand look, what he's son, saying. Son, we did need him to step mm. up today. We did need him to. No, look, we did. And, and look, I've been, uh, look, I've, I've heard my frustrations on Son today. I think he's a large part of what went wrong. He didn't stick to the striker role. He got frustrated and all that. He really let us down today. Let's not shy away from it. But I do want to be fair to Son. He's popped up with five or six winners already this season. That's something Harry Kane used to do. Now, in years gone by, if Son didn't step up, Kane did, and if Kane didn't, Son did. I warned everyone, you're going to lose that when you let Harry Kane go this summer. And, you know, yeah. Son can't carry Tottenham all on his own. He does need other people to step up and help him. He is going to have an off day. I always used to say about Harry Kane, he is going to have a day where he doesn't show up and doesn't score. But then that's the question of how good is your other players around him? Will one of them step up and do it today? Unfortunately, they didn't. You know, and this is the thing. We sold Harry Kane so that we wouldn't rely on one player to carry us. 
we're more reliant on one player than what we've ever been now. And if Sun doesn't step up and have a good game, we struggle to go in and go on and win games and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, completely wrong move by Ange Postacoglu to play him striker today instead of left wing, like I've highlighted, like Jack's highlighted, you know, all day today. But I do want to be a bit fair on Sun here. I don't want to put everything on him because... Like I said, Harry Kane used to have them days and Son used to step in. But now we don't have that. When Son has them days, there's no one else to do it, and it's a problem. It's a fair point you make about the late goals. Like, he has stepped up when called upon. And I think we even gave him the benefit of the doubt. Like, sort of like, yeah, he's had a bad first half. He'll probably show up in the second half and, you know, and be a completely different player. He didn't even do that today. So it's just one of those bad days at the office Mm -hmm. for him, Jacob. And like you say, when we least needed it and we needed a, you know, completely opposite performance from him, I just, I'm going to give him an excuse on my behalf, on my behalf. I don't think Sonny would take it from me or take it from anybody, but I am going to give him that excuse that it's just not playing to his strengths really in this game and really do appreciate your support. 26 months Mm -hmm. of service as an elite member. Well over two years, you absolute madman. Really do appreciate you, Jacob. Really do appreciate you. Thank you. So and just, just, just for the end of it, I would say, my man, is that look, you know, the, the, we do need to sign players of caliber in the forward areas. You know, the thing is, we've seen this season, you can go and get any Joe Soap, but you do suffer inconsistency because of it. You know, this summer we really do need to be bring a bit more quality into that forward area. Don't get me wrong, you know, we don't have to blow up everything we've got and restart. You know, you keep Son, you keep Richarlison, you keep Brennan Johnson, you keep Kulazeski. But we need to add a couple of good other options between that. Whether you go and sign a striker or two wingers, you need to sign some other options as well. But they have to be of genuine quality so that they either pull the guys that we've got around them to that level or, you know, then we know that they're not good enough. You ship them on eventually and bring in other guys that will be good enough to go forward. But I agree with you. And look, this is actually something I've highlighted since preseason. I said before, everyone was blaming Harry Kane being not interested in everything else preseason. I says, no, it just doesn't look right out wide. We don't have the correct wingers to play this system the way that Ange Postacoglu wants to. And um, it just hasn't looked right all season. It's been hot and cold all season and it is an area that if we fix heading into next season, we can do what Ange Postacoglu said before this game and go on a title charge next season. It's just whether what sort of money we're going to have free up to go and put that right. Well, Dave, any final words really from yourself here? I think we have, sadly, I don't like to be proven right on something, but I, in this case, I do feel like that was the case with maybe starting Sonny at striker. I think he can have good games at striker. Don't get me wrong, everybody. It's just like I'll continue to say, it's just not exactly his best sort of play it's not suiting you know all of his best strengths and so you're not going to maybe always then get the best version of Sonny and there were some other players too that were a little bit off the boil I think like Pedro Porro uh, today in particular you know could have been a bit better and then you know the team was kind of let down by the substitutions of Ange so well we you know didn't need to rely entirely on Sonny or Pedro Porro the game was also kind of hurt by the substitutions but some of the players that probably could have won us the game Bentoncourt, Madison kind of some others like that do you know what it's just frustrating it's like guys that have you know really pulled this all together this season Ange Postacoglu's son um who's the other guy I was going to mention Ange Postacoglu's son and uh Pedro Porro been sensational all season long have been a huge part of why we got ourselves into this position let us down on the big occasion but look I'm not happy about it I'm as frustrated as you guys are the main thing is we didn't lose. We put a point on the board. We got not in the forest on Sunday. We've got a chance to put it right. We don't have to wait two weeks over the international break. Mm. We win there. You know, all of a sudden, it'll be a bit of a different vibe around Tottenham Hotspur. I do think a lot of the frustrations come as well because it is West Ham. They really are pissing me off. They seem to have the right way to play against Tottenham. Really frustrate us and also score against us. But look, it ain't the end of the world, although it's disappointing. We move on. We dust mm-hmm. ourselves down, we go against Nottingham Forest. Um, not the result we wanted, I apologise for that. And um, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll have discussions over the next few days about it. Yep. Um, really no do. point in digging much deeper in it tonight. Really appreciate all the support, though, everybody's shown to us today. 
Thanks for sticking with us from the pre-match buildup from the very beginning of the day all the way through the watch along here. Really appreciate Chris earlier from grabbing a fan show membership and also yeah. holding it down as a moderator and as a day one of this channel. Al Ben, really do appreciate your support as well, my man. Shawnee Maddox celebrating seven months early. Appreciate you, Shawnee. Stevie D, the one and only. Thank you for congratulating us on the 14K, as well as Adrian Chia, always riding through the roller coasters with us, Adrian Chia. Big up to you, my man. Drew Zilla as well. KPV, Paul Markey, Oldies, Martin Knightsbridge. Big up to you, Martin. Hopefully you're keeping well uh, today, my friend. Frankly, Tottenham, appreciated your support as well. Al Ben, Michael from Poland, and Jacob Anderson, the one and only. Big up to you all. Really do appreciate the extra support today. It does help keep the channel going. For anybody who's wondering, I do think we'll be going with the fan show tomorrow unless disaster occurs, but fan show should be going on tomorrow. For anybody who wants to come on and have their say, uh, who is a member, uh, have a chat with us and give us your thoughts about maybe the last two games and as well as you know your thoughts ahead of the, the Forest game. But I think we'll leave it there. Smash the like thank button if you much, haven't everyone. on your way out. Yeah, Dave, are you, sorry. No, I was just going to say thank you very much, everyone, today. I really do appreciate it. You know, although it's disappointing, you guys, are, you know, we had good fun today, so thank you. Absolutely. Everybody, I think we'll leave you there. Appreciate you all. Have a good rest of your night. We'll see you next time for the uh, for the Forest game. See you for the yeah. fan show, hopefully, tomorrow. Come on, you Spurs. In the big, on, Spurs. In the big hands we trust. We never stop. We never stop.